Welcome back to Waste Some Time with Jason Green. I am Jason Green. Today, we are live on the, on the road, on the road to custard. We're on a quest, a quest for custard. I know what you're thinking. This is an odd, uh, an odd thing. It's odd to me uh, as well. And I'm going to explain it all to you uh, in just a minute here. I'm trying, to, uh, I'm trying to make this look very professional. But uh, I don't know how to do that. So anyway, uh, listen, we've, we've got company today uh, accompanying us on this, this amazing uh, trip for Custer. Let's, uh, let's, let's welcome Johnny. Johnny. Hold on. And there's millions of people watching. Johnny, how are you? Hi. Do you like the layout like that, or do you like the... Uh, there's always this one. Hold on. No, I didn't do a thing. Hold on. What about that? Sure. All right, I like that. Um, anyway, so let me explain to you why uh, uh, we're going to love at Custard. Jake E. Lee, who lives here in Las Vegas, and for those who don't know, Jake E. Lee is the former lead guitarist for Ozzy Osbourne, performed on the Park at the Moon album, right? Yeah. And uh, is he on The Ultimate Sin? I want to say, yeah, I think so. I think he's on that too. And so he lives here in Las Vegas. Now I've lived in Las Vegas for over two decades now, but he, uh, he told me I wanted to talk about music with him. He wanted to talk about Custer. He told me that the greatest spot in Las Vegas is uh, Love It Custer. I hadn't heard of it. Now, now everybody, everybody tells, tells me, oh my God, God how do you not know Love, Love It Custer? Custer? I'm not, I'm not even, even sure I've had Custer. Custer. Have you, you had a custard? custard? I, don't, I don't know if it's the same thing I'm thinking of. I mean, I've had flan. Go around. I feel streaming. I, yeah, people, people have no respect for broadcasting. broadcasting. How many more people can you cram in that car? Yeah. Well, well, luckily, we, we can, can get, get in the carpool lane. That's uh, weird. But, 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 so, <laughs> but, but so, um, I, I feel like I tried custard at like the state fair or something, something maybe, you know, know like. Enough is enough. enough like, I think we're going to like a, a cake or something, right? That's, that's what we're thinking. We're thinking. I look at the. So you, you look, look at me. I'm looking at the camera. camera. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in the same car. Don't want to break the illusion. But this, we're not in the same car. Um. So what were you saying? Serious business. Ed Sheeran couldn't be here. Um. I think that custard would be something that would go into an eclair or something like that, right? But Maybe. This is not that. If anyone watching knows about custard, please let us know. Uh, Sam is watching from the UK. Thank you for joining us, G-Man. Thank you, brothers and custard. Yes, uh, uh, and you know, I was uh, I was thinking. So I don't know about you, Johnny, but I hate going anywhere. I hate getting ready to go anywhere. I don't like plans. I don't like things that happen at a scheduled time. Yeah. You know, like uh, I like to go. Hey, I'll see you around sometime. But when you have to, when you have to uh, make an actual plan, like uh, I'll see you at one o'clock. And then, oh, there's millions and millions of people watching. It's a little stressful. Hmm. And then you have to get, you know, you got to get dressed. And then, uh, and then, you know, Johnny, I know you were a little concerned that people may think of this as a sort of a, a homoerotic thing. Hmm. But, I mean, two men can go and have, two straight men uh, can go and have custard. Especially, allegedly yeah, straight men. Yeah. Especially downtown. I see a lot of that. And uh, Pat is saying that he added Sin City, Sin City Rejects to his internet radio show which is great i appreciate that it's called uh pat paradise rock station all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna tune into that i appreciate it and the record is coming out from golden robot records later this year on vinyl first time and uh and that the great thing is golden robot records is sponsoring this uh this video and uh, i should point out before i get too crazy into the custard that there is a singles competition, uh, not a dating thing, more like uh, music. If you have a band or you know someone has a band or you have a song that you'd like to get some attention to, you go into the link in my description and you click on it and then you uh, can send your music in and there's going to be a panel of judges. you got two months to get it in and uh, uh, that's what I used to say when I was dating. Uh, you got you know, two months to get it in, uh, or two weeks, two, two, uh, two hours from my phone. Uh, but so uh, you guys send your song in, and then uh, and Johnny is one of the judges. We're going to have some really other cool uh, uh, judges as well, and I, I, I can probably name a few of them. Uh, Mark Knight, uh, who's a founding member of the band Bang Tango, is going to join us, and Aram Mancuso, who really uh, had a lot to do with Jakey e. Lee's uh, sort of comeback or whatever. He, I think he produced the Red Dragon Cartel records, and he was in a band called Beggars and Thieves. He is a uh, restauranteer. A tour here in Vegas. Uh, he owns a place called the Bootlegger Bistro. 
And he was a very knowledgeable guy when it comes to music, so he's going to be on the panel as well as a bunch of other people. So anyway, I want to make sure you guys know that, uh, and uh, and you go into the uh, description and enter. Let's let's see what happens. That's to commemorate ten thousand subscribers, which we haven't got to yet. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, um, uh, then please do that. Monotron, which I'm probably saying wrong, is watching from Switzerland. And uh, he, he says we should tell Jake to accompany us, which is true. J Jake should be here. It's just that uh, Jake is like Batman. You have to put a signal in the air. I don't think he has a phone. Um, but uh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, this this custard thing, really a lot of thought went into it. I lost a little bit of sleep last night, and then I get up this morning, and I'm on the website, and I'm trying because I don't want to be the asshole who goes up to the sign and then doesn't know what I want. Because love it custard, from what I can tell, and you drove past it the other day. Mm. It's a, uh, it's, it's a building with a window. There's nothing else. Like a photo mat booth from back like, in the day. Like a photo mat booth, yeah. And, uh, and so we, we, I don't want to be the one who hogs up the line. Cause he, remember Pink's Hot Dogs in L.A.? Oh, yeah. I get the feeling that it's like one of those things. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who are wondering about Love It Custard, it, uh, it was opened in 1973. Four generations of Lovitz have run it so far. Yeah. And now it is, I believe his name is Brandon, and he is the uh, great grandson. Uh, and maybe he'll even be there making the custard. They have tons of custard, and every day they have two flavors of the day. This uh, th on this day, the flavors of the day are mango, which doesn't sound good to me. Mm. I don't know, and uh, and cherry pie, which which sounds okay to me. So. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to see. I, I, somebody told me the custard is like more egg-based. It's also frozen, hence the name Love It Frozen Custard. Uh, has Charlotte had custard? No, but uh, she was bugging me all night. I want to go for custard. I want to go for custard. I'm like, you don't eat custard. She's like, I want to go. Uh, you never take me anywhere. <laughs> well... Now, uh, for the millions and millions of people, yeah. a little quiet right now, but for the millions and millions of people watching, um, yeah. uh, uh, anyway. So, listen, we're 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 gonna we're gonna we're gonna go. Let's start the let's start the trip, and uh, and then you guys get to go uh, with us. And if you're watching this on the replay, you know you can fast forward to the custard. Although I think getting there is half the fun. Really go. I really go. Okay, uh, I would take a right here. And then I'll take this straight down a little bit. All right. So you get to a major street. Okay. We're going to call that major street Maryland Park. All right. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're on our way. Why? How, How many people, people you, know, you know, I saw, saw uh, Eddie Trump today. He had the like, Vegas guys, guys on his show yeah. at his house. Yeah. And I was like thinking, like, that'd be a slow news day, you know, that, to have these local yokels on your radio show. show. And, you know, and listen, Eddie Trump's really just having guys over the apartment, you know what I mean? Right. He's acting like, hey, I'm here at uh, the Vegas uh, 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 studio, uh, and really, you know, you know, got a nice little gated community, and a bunch of jackasses come over and hang out. And nothing against Eddie Trunk. I mean, not everyone can do highbrow um, travel vlogs like, like we are. Tough neighborhood. Yeah, well, it's a little bit of a tough neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, I, I like it, though. I, 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 I like, like a bicycle, street. like an adult. I'm like it. Teenager bike, like a banana seat, mm -hmm. riding in circles and just yelling. When you grow up in the city and you see people on a bicycle, uh, grown people, they're usually yeah. up to no good. That's right. Yeah. They're, they're usually selling drugs. Yeah. But here's the police, so yeah. that's always good. And the third. They're not looking, yeah. Oh, a lot, a lot of police are looking at us. We're going to get pulled over. Oh, like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, oh, here comes the cop. Timmy turned me, turn around. Where you grew up in Illinois, did you grow up like in a city or a suburb? Both. I started out in the city, but then, of course, you got to keep going further out because it gets bad, and then you, you go west. Mm -hmm. Like the Indians. Go, go west, west yeah. And then, um, you know, if the parents make, make a better life, we're really put you further out, put you further out. So they take a right here. They're out. Uh, it would have been a tough neighborhood because eventually all those neighborhoods are going to take a tough neighborhood because eventually all those overtake in, and then they overtake in, and then they gentrify it. Cool, cool, but you still don't cool, want to still car, don't like parking so. cars. Was it like so. shameless? Was it like shameless? Uh, uh, no, it was. No, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, 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 I,
upbringing, my main upbringing, upbringing, upbringing like upbringing like Summerlin, like Summerlin, 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 Summerlin shelter. Lots of, shelter. Lots of, lots of three car garages, three car garages, and garden doors. Spoiled, spoiled. Chip used to call it. Chip used to call it spoiled town, spoiled town USA. Cops are coming for us, so we're going to do this. All right, so let's see. There are some there's some places over here. Oh, I know, I know. I know. Over by the Dr. 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 Poshartino uh, is, uh, is weighing in. He's concerned, in. concerned that, uh, that a sunroof, sunroof uh, can, uh, can speed up cancer. It's best to wear a hat. And use a dancing trampoline for squirrels. He's really, I think he's sharing so much. No, of course. Okay, so now you're going to take a left. Onto, onto tropical tropic camp. Oh, we are. Oh, we are. Sorry, okay. sorry about okay. that. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just making sure, making sure that I'm not used to this kind of uh, direction. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you know, when you're from, you're from New, York, New York, a lot of times uh, your directions are just like, time, it's, it's over directions there. directions are just like, and, and, and it's you think, well, if I can see it, I can work to it. you think, well, if I can see it, I can work to it. When the World Trade Center was no longer there in New York, I lost my navigation. I lost my navigation. It used to go up to five trades. It used to go up to five trades. So, uh, no, because it, it, so even though New York has a great it, system even of grids, has a great avenues system of and grids, streets, avenues when you get downtown, the streets, they start to get, get downtown, main, they start to get the main, and that gets the band. Uh, there, there's, there's, like, the there's the one on the bike. There's the one on the bike. Oh my about. goodness! That's oh the same from your block. Same from your block. Yeah. Her, no brakes on that thing. No brakes she on that She's not going that fast, though. I guess if she, 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 she had to stop, it was she emergency. Stop, she should have ghost ride. She should have ghost ride. She let the brakes on. Michelle says, Michelle says uh, one of us uh, needs one to mute the audio because the other one's echoing. Got it. Got it. Okay. Johnny's going to try that. Johnny's going to try that. That makes sense, though, because we're both micing. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah, so you can get a better look at it. Well, it, it was, they used to have a parties here. And when bands played the Thomas and Max Center, you would have, uh, like, brands like Pearl Jam have their after party here. Really? But then, the, it, but it's a residential neighborhood, so there was nowhere to park. Does so, someone live here now? So they'd have to valet. So I, I, there's someone did buy it. I don't know what they do with it now, but the idea was to rent it um, for parties and things. These two guys are staring at us like they... They, like they've, they've never like seen. They have no idea why we're looking at Liberace's house. You know? Right. I mean, it's Liberace. Like they haven't seen yeah. two two guys you can pull uh, up and t take a left here, and uh, they look shady. And so this house. There's no tattoo. Yeah, you can't, you can't trust that. Troublemakers. So anyway, that this is the side of Liberace's house. Love it. This is smile. where the service would entrance uh, would enter. Why can't we rent this? And then this house next to it belonged to Liberace's maid. And uh, a, a, an older African American woman, but she took care of him, housekeeper. She lived in this house, and eventually, when he passed, he left the house to her. She had sold it since, but you can see the L's on the gate here as well. And supposedly, Liberace would sometimes sneak the fellas in uh, through the maid's quarters. Why would they, they take said. care of this neighborhood? Yeah, you know all this, all this history and stuff. They just let it go. I lived on this block, and Liberace's house was my backyard. Uh, okay, so now you want to get back on Tropicana. But anyway, a little bit of history. We, we, we showed people Liberace's house. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I like it. Dr. Paul Shortino makes the point Liberace put the man in mansion. Look at this place. Drop it in a village. Yeah. I think you'd be like, oh, I'm a pilot. This is my house right here. We can show it. That white one. I, like I lived there. It used to be pink when I lived there. It was painted pink. I, I wasn't too masculine. You know when there's bars on the window that they're, you're in the wrong neighborhood. And you see here, that there is an RV. Well, th yeah. this uh, that house belonged to a woman who was a very famous art designer, and she painted a replica of the Sistine Chapel over Lebrachi's ba bathtub. And she I must be dead by now, but when I lived there, she was still there. She was about a 1,000 years old. This uh, is right by the hospital, huh? I don't think is it's that, that close. No, no, that's a UNLV. Oh. So that's the UNLV campus. This is, we're essentially in the UNLV um, campus area. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this. That was a detour. We weren't expect, expecting to show you that. Uh, so you probably planned that to be near the school. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Of course. So, well, I mean, I don't know. It's not, it, the area's okay. It's, it's, yeah. I'm sure if you get in there, it gets a little weird. Yeah, yeah, well, or at nighttime, I spent like 10 years there. I can tell you all about it. But it's changed over the years. Now on the, uh, uh, my right, their left, that is the Thomas and Mack Center. Yeah. And the Thomas and Mack Center had very famous uh, wrestling events, boxing events, a lot of concerts. I buy tickets there. And you can get tickets there, yeah. And uh, ice capades, they have ice capades. And that kind of, uh, if you're into, uh, into that. Real. So anyway, so we're on Tropicana and we are heading towards Las Vegas Boulevard, also known as the Strip. Look at this. Yeah, that's you see now. This is a high. Uh, this is a highbrow uh, thing here. High tech, I should say. Production values. Mm -hmm. Yeah, production value. Look at that. Anyway, uh, so. We're still we're we're still on our way to Lovett Custard. As we go by, you'll see some of the sites. Now we're going to take the long way. Normally, you would not take the strip, but in this case, it might be a little bit more fun that you guys get to experience uh, a little bit of Las Vegas with us. And I will try to uh, yeah, I will try to read some of your comments, especially the ones that have a, a super chat, a super sticker, because then. Um, and then we we could we could have a, a, we could have toppings on our custard. Mm. You know I mean? Yeah. Okay. Have you invited Dana Strom? It's a good question. <laughs> Dana Strom does not really go out very much in Las Vegas. He keeps a very private life. I'll be seeing him very soon, though, on the road. And Dana Strom and I had a long talk about coming on the show, and he is going to do it. He has some stuff going on, but yeah, he will be here. You thank, will see. Thank God. Uh, Johnny was losing sleep. Uh, uh, you would be good for a band like Slaughter, though. Maybe you should be nice to Dan. You'd be good for that. Who's in that? Oh, they got Red Beach. No. Right? Jeff Blando's the guy's name. Oh. Oh, Red, I thought Red Beach was in that band. No. Oh. Yeah, I should be connected to the band. 
Uh, yes, you guys can make your guest suggestions and whatever else. We, I, now's the time to, to talk because we're stuck in the car on the way to Love and Custer. Uh, and if you're following Johnny's camera, which is a little, he's working on it right now. To the left of your screen would be Mandalay Bay, uh, lovely casino where you can see Johnny perform. It's also the site of the largest American uh, mass shooting. You know, unfortunately, very sad. Uh, it's the MGM. I'm playing there Thursday. Yeah, and then see you can see all the places that, uh, uh, that Johnny's playing. I'm playing uh, at the MGM Thursday. It's hard to go from talking about the biggest mass gun violence shooting into like wacky. You know, it's hard to come out of those up-tempo numbers. It was a fluke, you know, that, that doesn't happen every day. No, I don't think it happens every day. Hopefully it will never happen again. Yeah. Uh, MGM Grand here on your right. This is the home of the, uh, this is where Tupac Shakur went to see a boxing match and he got into an altercation. It was the last place he went and then he was killed uh, a few blocks uh, down. Oh, right, right on... Uh... Hollywood or um, Las Vegas Boulevard, right? He's off. It's off Las Vegas Boulevard, right? Kind of by Bally's. Right. Wasn't Biggie in the car with him? No. <laughs> Dude, they're wrong, wrong coast. <laughs> but uh, but uh, uh, anyway, okay. So that's the MGM Grand. This is a gas station that I've gone to. Coval. I used to walk from my house that you just saw uh, to uh, to the strip all the time. Just before I got so uh, old and fat. Uh, the Oyo right here, that used to be called Hooters. That's right. But it's now called the Oyo. I spent some time there. At Hooters? Yeah. yeah. Do you like the, the Hooters? I thought it was okay. They put me in there when I was out here recording with Enough's Enough, and I got to an argument with them, and I didn't want to stay with them anymore. So he's like, we'll just put you in a hotel. So they put me in the, in the, in the Hooters. Well, that's not bad. But they, now that's the Tropicana right there, which rumor is it'll be torn down. Uh, Lana Wood in the movie Diamonds Are Forever is tossed from the window of that hotel into the pool. Sean Connery is in the room. Her character, Plenty O'Toole. That is also the hotel in the movie The Godfather, uh, where they come to do business with the Vegas mob. So Tropicana's Leisure. There's a rumor that the Oakland Athletics are going to buy that and make that a baseball stadium. Traffic will be in terrible. Now, on Johnny's camera, you can see the New York, New York. There's a statue, playing there too, Sunday. There's a statue of Liberty. And you can see Johnny play there. I've played here as well, right there on the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, I'm playing there Sunday. Right there. Reminds me of Saturday Night Fever. And you can, Sunday night, you can come out and see Johnny. I'll show you the other side. There's some showgirls. Uh, and there used to be a movie theater right here. I think it's gone. There's a food court, one of the only places where you can get affordable food. There's that carnival court. Here's the Hard Rock. Now we're not there. Yeah, here's the Hard Rock Cafe. That's well, all right. Uh, Fat Burger. Uh, Walgreens. Yeah. So you guys are getting a good idea of uh, Las Vegas. That guy, that chef guy. There's a salt. You know, yeah. there was a place right here. It's a soul, it was a soul food restaurant. The Richard Roundtree, the actor who played Shaft, opened, and huh. he sold catfish. And uh, yeah. it was very bizarre. The plug. <laughs> the plug. My nickname to college. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, uh, man, that's, where you that's the Cosmopolitan, my favorite hotel in Las Vegas. If I'm I gonna like stay some, Yeah, if I'm going to stay somewhere, uh, that's where I... No I smoking, stay. I don't think, in there. It's good. Yeah, I agree with that. Now, Planet Hollywood on your right, where you can see the Scorpions coming up very soon, if you like that kind of German uh, heavy metal. Gordon Ramsay. And Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Angel. Did you ever play this place, Planet Hollywood? It's one of the worst uh, gigs. I have played there. The one where you have the in ears and there's no monitors? That's right. You, it, it's so quiet that you can hear. Oh, we lost your connection. Yeah, oh, it's, back. Right. it's back. You're, it, it's so quiet you can hear the strings louder than you can hear the actual. Yeah, those are weird gigs. Yeah. All right, I'm just trying to make sure everybody. Uh, Jimmy DeGrasso would be a good interview. Jimmy DeGrasso stopped speaking to me after some kind of thing with rap. I don't really know what the reason is. Unfortunately, uh, the Bellagio Water Show is not happening right now, but uh, but you will see a little bit. Sammy Hagar, there's Cabo Wabo. Sammy Hagar is Cabo Wabo. We did a Sin City Center show there, and Vinnie Paul came and watched. And Can't really get away from these guys right. with their mufflers. I just don't understand it. Yeah. You having a good time back there? Okay. I want to see everything. Right. Well, she is seeing the sights. Will she be performing at any of those upcoming 
Uh, uh, no, she only plays with me at Aces and Ales because she's real snooty. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm not going to those casinos. I'll go where I can sit down. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look, kids. Big Ben. Parliament. <laughs> can't, get, can't get left. <laughs> I can't get left. I don't know why. I think he's cutting out. Oh, it's my Wi-Fi. It'll come back. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Are you down? I think I'm, uh, I'm uh, I look like we're both okay right now. Oh, okay. you can't see? That's okay. That happened once before, but look, it's working. Okay. All right. Johnny's having some technical difficulties, but he has a beautiful view, unless that's frozen. Move the camera a little bit. Oh, you're frozen. Uh-oh. All right, hold on. Johnny's going to have to... Uh, it might because we're just stuck in this spot right here. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, so you'll come back. And then, then I'll show you some of the sights on this camera uh, as we, we get there. I want to uh, remind you that this is brought to you by Golden Robot Records. Description, uh, link in the description for the singles competition is there. Johnny Monaco's website, johnnymonaco.com is there. Patreon, all those other things that you need to follow. Okay, so... Uh, Right there is the Bellagio. I think the water thing only happens at night. Now, uh, if that's not your thing, there is the Paris. And there is the Eiffel Tower right there. And I hope you can see that. The uh, Paris right here. We'll always have Paris, Johnny. There's the uh, double-decker bus. Now, coming up uh, next to the, the Paris right there is going to be Bally's, and this is the street that uh, Tupac uh, was killed on. I have a whole video about this, by the way, John. I have a whole video of reenacting the night Tupac was shot. I filmed it. I have every location possible, and uh, maybe you guys will like that. You know, I met Tupac. Yeah? Yeah. I tell that story in that video. It's down this block. Uh, they have a little shrine uh, uh, to him as well. Over here is the Flamingo, which is one Bugsy Siegel. That's right. This is a Bugsy Siegel hotel. They've got Wayne Newton playing here, Mr. Vegas, and I believe Donny Osmond uh, uh, plays here as well. Are you back on? So then I have to uh, add you. Hold on. Now you should be on. Okay. And now we hey, there we go. Now Johnny's back with us. Keith Urban. Johnny is facing Caesar's Palace. That is the uh, forum right there. I don't believe Caesar actually stayed there, despite popular belief. Now that we're you're seeing the Mirage here, if you're a fan of the movie Vegas Vacation, filmed at the Mirage, I have a video of that coming soon too. This is getting demolished and will become the new Hard Rock Hotel. Oh, that's right. And they will free those poor dolphins. Oh, yeah. Here's some uh, skanks, I mean, uh, showgirls who take pictures with you. Uh, this over here would be Carnival Court coming up very soon. Uh, not quite yet, but... Uh, I might have a gig there next month. Yeah, that's a fun, fun place. They, they have you work like 50 hours a day. That's a long one. Look at that. That's a, that's a volcano sometimes. That guy's Shin Lim. Who you knows Shin Lim? He's great. Well, you're a magician. I forget about he that. He is fantastic. He's got his own show. Maybe we should go see Shin Lim. You're in the wrong room. You know what? I, uh, Michelle and I were wondering if you'd want to go see Barry Manilow with us. I think that would be good. Yeah, maybe we'd do that. I, I'm a fan of Barry Manilow. This is the Venetian that I'm showing you. And Johnny is showing you Treasure Island, also known as the T.I. They used to have that great uh, uh, pirate show out there. They got rid of it. Vegas gets rid of everything that's fun. Uh, huh. Okay, and so uh, this is the Palazzo. Yeah. Palazzo, yeah. You park, this is where you parked when you went to see Sticks. That's right. And then there's the, uh, the win. The win, yeah. As Caratop says, you know Vegas is bad for gambling because they can't even spell win right. <laughs> Uh, you know, Steve Wynn is uh, was blind, and he accidentally uh, he accidentally ripped a Picasso painting up when he was going to buy it. He said, "What if you ripped up my hand?" That's funny. Yeah. Which is, there's the Trump Tower. Trump Tower, all by itself. No gaming, all by itself. This isn't a good spot. No. Uh, we got a building. It's very big. It's gold. My name's on it. Fantastic. It's, it's the best building. Well, you know, it's not in a good spot right now, but we're thinking of relocating it over by. Over at Mandalay Bay, um, food court. Where can I get Monaco's CD? I think some of his CDs are at johnnymonaco.com, but his upcoming CD, which is called She Said She Found Her Soulmate, is coming soon. And every day that we talk about it, we're building anticipation 
and uh, and hype. If they want to buy an actual one, they can email me, and I'll, I will tell them. Yeah. Okay. So he, he message Johnny on his website or on his social media. Um. Okay. So we're at the end. We are now at the end of the strip. Towards well, the, towards I, think, the end. I think the strip ends when you hit the stratosphere, which you can see on that's your right. shot. Right. Yeah. That's where I was the other night when I saw Cheap Trick. Yeah. And it was fun, right? Yeah, they were good. Is that a little room? It looks very small. Yeah, it wasn't that big. Um, when you first look at that building, you're thinking, how do they fit stores and stuff in that? Because I thought that was it. Mm -hmm. But it's actually not where you go in. Right. I mean, there's another part to it. There's an actual building. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I'm thinking, how are they going to fit all those stores in the shape of that? You know, they had the DJ Ashba store. Yeah, he did have a clothing line and a water. Water, water too. Line, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I went to the grand opening of the DJ Ashba. I remember that. Sure. This guy on his bike. He thinks he's a car. DJ Ashba had a little private lounge, and he would invite me up to, uh, not just me, other people. I'm a car. <laughs> oh, geez, John. All right. All right. Stay out of traffic, buddy. Now, this part of the strip is a little uh, dead. You know what I mean? Like, Because it used to be fun to walk the strip and see all the sights. And right here, you're, uh, there's yeah. nothing. Golden Robot Records should open like a casino here, like the Golden Robot Casino. Or at the very least, a gift shop. Yeah, they've got all that Australian dollar. That's where Scotty Griffin lives. Yep, yeah, and the Scotty Griffin Towers. I was going to invite him to meet us, but he's very difficult. I was going to live there, and then I decided to live on the other side because I don't know why. But... I think you might have made the right move. Your area is a little more open. American force. Do you think we can get flagged for that song? I don't I know. I don't think YouTube could recognize that song. I don't know, but I don't just to be care. safe, yeah. Um look at their everyone's on vacation. Yeah, a lot of people they're having a nice happy with it. Look at their arms are crossed, they're not happy with each other. There's a church if you need, should need one. Oh, yeah. I think your mic is on again. Oh, is it? Sorry. But your speaker is not your mic. Your speaker. No? Oh. Maybe your speaker. Okay. I think. Okay. I think that's better. Please go by Axel Rose's house. I don't think Axel Rose has a house here. But live here? I don't think so. They're confusing. Me. How warm is it today? That's a good question. It's, uh, it's about it's pushing eighty. Pushing eighty. I think it's like seventy nine ish here in Las Vegas. Now remember the the whole point of this is that we're going to love it custard. I, would I hear it still. I would always down. Always Maybe down. flick the oh. yeah like that. All right, let's see here. Monaco's Trump chips enough shtick on his podcast is something else. Yes, it is actually very uh, entertaining. I have it all the way down. And huh. That's a good point Kevin makes, that if Johnny would have uh, lived on uh, in this side of the strip, you wouldn't have the fat guy smoking all the time. Couldn't avoid yeah, that. I Now, I should point out, I have a lot of videos coming soon that show um, locations of the Las Vegas Strip. Yeah. And, I, and some of my, some of the stuff I'm showing you now, I, I do more in depth. More uh, fat. Because there is a lot, of cool, uh, a lot of cool stuff. Here's the pepper mill. Yeah, the pepper mill is very, very legendary. I like that place. I hope they keep it. There used to be a casino. Uh, uh, used to be a place named the Concha Hotel next to it. I stayed there. Yeah, the Riviera, right? Where's uh, that? The Riviera would have been... Uh, in this mess. That's right. But that is gone. Look at what they did. What is this? An airport? Now, the Westgate back there, that's where Elvis played. That was the Hilton International. Right. All the Elvis shows. That's right. And uh, yes. also in the movie uh, Diamonds Are Forever, that is where the bad guy. Uh, that's his oh, mansion. Circus Circus. The white resident. Oh, we can't miss Circus Circus. That's where uh, the, Another, bed, the bed bugs live. Yeah, bed bugs. Yeah. Another place that could be day to day. And you know what else used to be right over here behind here is in that show Las Vegas, Dan Tannis. Yes. You know that, yeah. yeah. Dan Tannis' house was right next yeah. to Circus Circus. And that's where I wanted to live. And I'm like, I want to live over there. And then I came over here and I'm like, I don't want to live over here. Because yeah. it's different now. Now, this all was the Riviera at the one sky, point. Sky condos. There was a place called uh, uh, Wet n' Wild, which was a, a feet water park. I went there for a Playboy party. It was very exotic. Uh -huh. This coming up is the Sahara. And uh, when Elvis made the movie Viva Las Vegas, he stayed at the Sahara. And you know how they always knew Elvis was staying at the hotels? Because mm. they would look up and they would see foil on the windows. Mm, that he liked the dark. Yeah. That's, they would do that. They, that's how they would always know he was in there. 
Uh, someone was saying the best way to get uh, Jake and Warren on the show is to go to the customer place, which I agree. And this we are sort of soliciting for uh, them to to show up. The story Jake told me is that um, they went to see Aerosmith, and Warren D. Martini flew into Vegas, and Jake took him to love a custard. He liked it so much that later in the day he wanted to come back for a second helping of custard. What? I'm gonna go home and play guitar after having the custard. I am too. It. Yeah, maybe it'll inspire us. What is he? Uh, what flavor did he get? Do we know? I don't know. Uh, if anyone's watching and has Jake's phone number, uh, let me know, and I will. Uh, I will go. Uh, um, go there. So yeah, there's the stratosphere. There's a scene in Viva Las Vegas where Elvis is standing right in front of Sahara. They used to have these candles out front, but not there anymore. I love it. I like all the older stuff better. I think. I think so. I don't and, know why. And we only have so so much of it. Put on some glasses here so I can show you some other interesting uh, spots. Kind of my intelligent look. The Noodle Den. Also my nickname in college. Yeah, well that goes without here saying. Here is the general store, which is very famous. Right before the lockdown, this casino right here, I forget the name of it. That was the final show of the Sin City Rejects. And they told us, don't play any guitar solos. We just want songs, but no solos. Solos waste time. What? And we had to cut solos. And since punk songs are very short, yeah. it was very long. Anyway, so we did Sinners here one night. We just one night. There's Scotty Griffin. The pandemic started, and we they were evacuating the hotel while we were performing. And I've evacuated a few venues, but not uh, during a pandemic. Um, yeah, uh, our, uh, that is crazy, that place. And uh, I hear stories about it all the time. Yeah. Oh, there is a lure. World's largest gift shop. That's right. And this is where it gets a little... Now, I'm going to show you a really cool, interesting place here that's coming up on your right. It's uh, called the Oasis Motel. This is where the legendary poker player... Uh, this is the Chapel of the Bells. This is from Vegas Vacation. This is where Chevy Chase renews his vows to... Uh, Elvis Wedding. To Beverly D'Angelo. Uh, there's the Elvis Weddings. Now, uh, the Oasis Motel is where the actor... Oh, what the hell is that guy's name? I can't think of his name. He hung himself. Anyway, it's on my channel. You can watch that video. Uh, and then also, um, uh, uh, yeah, there's a poker player. His That's name his name was Stu Unger. He was the youngest poker player uh, to, to make millions and win the World Series of Poker. Anyway, he, he died in this motel. So they say it's haunted. And Where? They say, Which one? Uh, it's coming up on the next oh, block. The boy. Oasis like Motel. That. Interesting. Uh, I wrote a song about it. I never did anything with it. I don't come down show. here that much. I mean, I, it's interesting down here, though. Well, if you're not looking for hookers or crack, uh, or Scotty Griffin, then maybe you don't need it. I can't remember that actor's name. It's a shame that I shot this whole uh, video about it. If anyone remembers his name, let me know. Hung himself, huh? Yeah, he was engaged to Tiffany Amber Thiessen. It shows you how bad depression can be. Just David Carradine? No, that happened in like Thailand. This guy's name was... Uh, That's a nice suit. Oh, yeah. They call that a seer sucker. They, they do? You know, lot, you know a lot of stuff that I don't know. I don't. I know that we don't belong down here. Buster Rhymes. That. Buster Rhymes. <laughs> <Buster Ron. laughs> I, I know that we don't fit in down here. This is where that festival, the emo festival is, or maybe not. Maybe oh, that's right. Further up. I don't know. Maybe it's by Scott. I think it's downtown is so hip. Okay, this Oyo right here that says Oasis Motel. This is the place where the actor... He was on a show called uh, uh, Suddenly Susan with Brooke Shields and Stu Unger. They both died in here. He died on the right uh, and Stu Unger on the left. But anyway, that's a legendary place. He went to that 7-Eleven on the corner, got a six-pack of beer, came back, hung himself from a, be a beam in, in the motel room. And uh, it's all on my channel. I mean, Sorry to bring down the custard, folks. No, I mean, this is just a... I don't know. It's interesting. Around Look here. at this White Cross. Yeah, I saw that. What this is that? a really legendary place. That was there forever. I, I, White Cross had like a, a diner, like a counter. Like this was like a Woolworths, maybe. Do you have Woolworths? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think it was that. It was like a pharmacy kind of, but it's it's been abandoned. But this is really a legendary place okay. that was there forever. Okay. Here's the Chapel of the Flowers, where a lot of famous people got married. I think John Holmes was married at that one. Huh. Of all the famous people, that's the one I named. There's Dino's, where I hear you go for karaoke. I went there the other night. Now, here is Love at Custard, I think, right? Um, yeah. I think. Yeah. This is Oki. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh... Next to it, there's a topless cabaret. It's right across the street, right? I don't know. Carnitas y tortas. I think it's right here to the right. Okay. I could be wrong. Is it actually on the strip? 
No. It's, it's on a, I think it's on a side street because Oki. Right. Is that one. Like There's Oakley Coolsville. or something. Yeah. Boston Pizza. This is where you come from, Boston Pizza. I think we put, I think we went past it. When you think of pizza, do you think of Boston? No, and I definitely don't think of Las Vegas. No. I think we went past it. We did. It's that Oki. Right. So it must be just we, we go back to Oki and okay. then we take a side street. This is the arts district down here, which actually there is some nice stuff. Uh, maybe not this guy. It's but. interesting down here. But uh, um, they're trying to do something. Atomic free shots. Mm -hmm. This is a one way. Left. It's goofy down here. I am so bad. All right, here we go. All right. Now we're back on track. Try to look at some of your. Oh, David Strickland. Thank you very much. David Strickland is the actor who hung himself. I would not have got that. Yeah, he was on that show at Brook Shields, and uh, All right, now it's taking us in. Uh oh, we're well, getting sucked up into the current. Um, yeah, but I recommend you watch my David Strickland video. They actually let me go into the room, and I show the actual beam where he hung himself. And I'll be honest, it was creepy. And I'll be honest, editing that video was creepy. I'd edit late at night, and I kind of would picture the guy hanging in my house. Not like hanging, like you know, having a few brewskis and talking about football. I mean, like you know, hanging. Serious stuff. So I think it's somewhere in through. I don't know. I think I came from the other side, so it was easier to find. Custard helps protect stomach lining for meds, especially downers. Hence Warren's love of the cold dessert. Not like I can't guarantee that's true, but. Itty -bitty. There's that street, Oakley. I think it's on this street. Yeah, Oakley. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's on this street. Yeah. The and question is, where is it? It's, uh, it's right over across from that Dino's place. Okay. So we just need to find that. You know, Love It Custard, for the record, is not a sponsor. Right? They should be, because look at all the advertising we're doing. That's right. We, we talk about uh, hangings. What? <laughs> Where, where's, where's Dino's? Well, no, that's a no. Well, no, you're, well, I don't know. Because I, I, so I don't think we're on Las Vegas Boulevard, are we? No, that was Oakley right there. Oki. Oki, whatever. But Oki runs this way, and I think... And you're saying it's off Las Vegas Boulevard, huh? That's what I'm thinking. Well, Oki is. I think we got to just get on Oki. That's, that's what that was, right? Yeah. yeah, but I think it's like that way. Okay. That's Las Vegas Boulevard. Okay, so See, it's, that, the, it's yeah. the other way. He also, yeah, there's a strip club right there. It's the Olympic Garden. It's also known as the OGs. Now, there's Dino's. Okay. Uh-oh. So Dino's the is just... It's got to be across the street. Maybe the officer can tell us where it is. Well, that's Oki. Okay. Right. So I'm thinking it's that apartment building next behind this gas station, maybe? Uh, right? I would say you take yeah. Say you take a left. It's a real little place. There's an expense. Totally missing. I think it's right behind the, the 7 Eleven where he went to be I'm just guessing. I've never actually been to this place. Yeah. Despite living here. 22 years. Oh, there it is, right there on the left. And it doesn't yeah. look online. There is a crackhead out front, like uh, dancing. See? Look at that. This could oh, be better. Boy. Oh boy. Wow. This could not Whoa. be better. Look at the welcome committee. What is happening over here? I think it's right in front of the window. This is amazing. What is he doing? Amazing. Could this not be a better welcome? Oh, look like in here it is. <laughs> He probably also has a podcast. Well, yeah, he's probably doing a live. He's like, my podcast is better than yours. He's, probably, he's probably doing a live from Love It as well. <laughs> I think so. I, do you think it's safe to... to that's the, I think it's safe. I certainly do think it's safe because if it, if it came down to something happening, mm -hmm. he's going gonna, he's gonna to be in trouble. <laughs> he's going to hit him with the car. Yeah. All right, no, he's fine. Him, the he's, there's nothing wrong with him. Well, I think he's just dancing, and the, the custard people nothing don't seem to be he's fighting a bunch of invisible flies. No, yeah, he's fine. Here comes his buddy. What did you get me into? Wow, this is a great area. Look at those bands. Maybe we're not going to get the Look custard. At at no. <laughs> no, we're here now. Well, no, no, yeah, we're here. All right, All right. Hold on yeah, see, we're going to so today. Well, we'll let's see. let's study the, the menu. Yeah, we have to study it. All right. I don't know how to turn the camera. Well, I can just do it like this. Oh, boy. Look at There's the menu. It's dangerous. Keep an eye on the dancer. Hi, honey. How are you? 
All right, let's see what we can do here. All right. Oh, man. Look at all that stuff. We had no idea there would be dancing entertainment out here. The welcoming committee. Yeah. He's having a fight with about 100 flies. They're invisible and stuff. <laughs> um, well, there are so many choices. You have all of these. Yeah, so I have these layers. You can do like Do you want, did you say you wanted to start out with the cherry pie, the smallest one? I think so. The small, the smallest ones, we're going to get a bunch of different ones. Yeah, sure. And I the smallest one, this one's out of Yeah, the small cup, correct. And then I'll try the mango. Okay. And then uh, what other ones do you want to go with for now? Well, I mean, let's start with that and then... Want to, want to get a couple more to light them up? Or we, yeah, all right. Well, how, what, about, what about we eat the first two? Okay. But we're going to do we're going to do the first two, and then we're going to keep going to do some yeah, more. Yeah, sounds good. Those two come out to 423. All right. That's a good deal. Some cash. No, no, I got cash. I'm gonna hold the camera for yeah, you. <laughs> you hold the broadcast. Right. Yeah. So, so we are trying the first couple, and it already looks fantastic. Um, I do smell a little water damage, but I, I, I think that um, it's gonna be very interesting because look at all these toppings. I'm gonna have to try a, a pineapple. I'm gonna try the uh, the wild cherry and the strawberry. Looks good. I mean, we gotta get a couple. I got second. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, now, see, now that we broadcast, uh, people are starting to show up. Yeah. I'm going to be in the waiting room. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to ask you. It's uh, a... Yeah. Don't worry about it. I will, it's fine. I can just see, I know he needs a bath, but still. Okay. Save it. Save it. Put your mask on. Uh, I think she wants to come. All right, well, that sounds good. I... You see some of the choices up here. Oh, here. Here's what we needed. Yeah, no, this is How the... How we miss this? <laughs> the biggest sign. And it says right there, no handling. Oh, yeah, I thought that's what the best part was. So, so you're not going to be able to get any gold nuggets here. That's but you, he can dance, though. Look at his pants are falling down. Uh, <laughs> is, so, there, so you can't get any gold nuggets here, is what they're saying. That's what panhandling means? No. Look, look at this. them. They're, they're, they're a duo. <laughs> what is going on down here? Why does this part of town attract that? Uh, listen, just for those who are watching at home, don't let this discourage you. I mean, uh, let us try the custard. I'm discouraged. Well, I, but I don't want people at home to not have custard. Well, no, no. Welcome. I'm sure the custard is going to be great. And the, and the, and the, you always got to, you always got to find, you always keep find like the good stuff in in uh, questionable neighborhoods. Like, That's exactly right. Yeah. Like uh, mongoose Schwinn bike parts. <laughs> Remember them. Oh, that's us. Uh oh. Oh, we're up. Two ding dongs. Yeah, two ding dongs. Wow. Oh, thank there you, you very much. Well, thank you. Have a great day. Okay, Thank see you, you in a few. Uh, so, so, uh, we need to be in the, in the shape. Right? Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I like, I'm going to get the tripod out so that we can eat. Charlotte's got, luckily, Charlotte's watching. Luckily, Charlotte's watching the car. Okay. Let's put that right there. <laughs> I feel like it's safe. Okay. This is, they should move this place to the strip. Well, I think so. It's legendary. I mean, I mean maybe they've got a good deal. Somewhere. So, so you're taking your first bite? Of course this is. All right. All right. I, saw, I saw this video of the people... Oh. Everyone says it's very creamy. Oh. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. That's a lot, though, for like a small. That's what I think. I'm going to have to waste some of those. Wow. Yeah. Okay, this they are not messing around. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's cherries in there, too. This is very, natural cherry. very good. I would come back. Yeah. I, 
maybe with a, a Kevlar vest okay. next time. On the same day, you know. Yeah. Well, Warren T. Martini did it twice. Hmm? The view on the other side is much more entertaining than, than the view that we're uh, having. This? These, 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 uh, these, uh, these uh, the Scott Wilson said, Josh Green. This is fantastic. It looks like Scott Wilson. Mm -hmm. this, this is great. I think we can come down to it. Everyone's very funny. I'm going to show a lot. They sense their own okay. thing. They, really they think they're hipsters. Oh, maybe. Maybe the big uh, fans of, of your, your music. They see your hair, and they see us, and they're like, "Could be your hair." Those guys, right? Yeah. Or is it more like rock? I, I mean, no offense to Eddie Trunk, but I promise you, the show today was not this good. This is so good. It's good. I mean, it's a little far for me to come down here every day, but you know what? Man, uh, I'm a diabetic, so I can't finish this whole thing. Mm -hmm. But it's good. If something happens to you, what do I do? Do I revive? Like, do I, what do I do? <laughs> Just let me exit this cruel world. <laughs> do I ask for the defibrillator? Maybe. Jaws of life? No, nothing. nothing. This is great. But it is really good. All right, I'm done with mine. I mean, I can't really taste as well anymore after uh, having COVID six times. Mm -hmm. But. Um, it's creamy, it's refreshing. The mango, I don't even know if I taste mango. I taste something. What did yours taste like, cherry pie? Same thing, I'm not sure what it, I mean, there was cherry in it. And uh, ooh, like some brown sugar. These are great. Glad to hear it. I mean, I unbelievable. Well, that... It's unbelievable. <laughs> why can't they, it. why can't they move this onto the strip? <laughs> I wish. Or somewhere. You know, yeah. you know. Where there's less crack. They must have a crazy view here. The people working there are very nice. They all seem like really into they it. Very nice. Yeah, that's true. And they're all like you know young. And uh, they got to be afraid for their life, right? I would be. I would be, but she didn't seem it. She seems like they. Or maybe that guy's dancing here every day. <laughs> this is his residency. So you're saying you've got a residency? Yeah, I said everybody, everybody in Vegas has got a residency. That was epic. Yeah. Okay, what is next? Yeah. You want to throw it out? Johnny will be handling trash. I'll get some money. What's next? And uh, here. Man, I want to try the pineapple. All right. Oh, Jesus. Let me ask her. What Let me just establish my shot. I asked you, what do you want? My car fits right in there. You want? No, I guess, I guess we can look over the big boy. Yeah, what do you think of this? Uh, I mean, that was a lot for a small one. That's more sugar than I need, but uh, let's see. Well, get the, get the, don't they have one that doesn't have sugar in it? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're going to get your, we're going to have to go back to that last. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking pineapple or raspberry is probably really good. Do you like raspberry? That one's probably good. Death by chocolate. Did you get that? Wow, that was the way to go. Yeah. Um, what about this one pocket Oh, that's a whole different ballgame. That's going to be I'm just going to come straight up. Yeah. You can go shopping. You went straight Yeah, but don't we want to try their flavor? But I mean, yeah, I guess we can go with the Sunday. I might go then to the pineapple Sunday with one of the top. Just depending on my audio. Well, that each one, I mean, I, I don't know. I, don't, I forgot. Maybe, maybe. 
people still okay. watching this? Yeah, yeah, I'm off mute now. 93 people watching this. Okay, so uh, last time we just went with the straight custard. You're saying you might want to try a Sunday. If we go with Sundays, well, you get one topping, but that's a 12 ounce cup. I don't, I don't want all that. All that day. I like the small. Right. But man, that was so good. Look at that. Do it. Tai Chi. He is doing Tai Chi, isn't he? Interpreted dance. All right. I think I'm going to go with the pineapple. I want to go with either a pineapple. Yeah, don't get that. I think, well, you pick whatever you want. I'm going to go. I think I like the raspberry idea. I like the pineapple. I think the wild cherry looks good. I think. Oh. I'm not sure I said the same thing. What am I? I don't see like random flavors. See. But there's a thing called the West. They say it's the most solid thing here. The what? This right here. This is the most popular item. They sell thousands of pieces of that. Yeah, that's hot fudge and caramel. It sounds more. I mean, yeah, I that's can always right. get that. It's changing in the night, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. That guy's trying to sell some tickets. Tickets, that's right. Yeah. Uh, well. So you know what you're having? I don't know. Okay. Hi. So that small one is only for the customer. You can't get a Sunday in the super small, right? Right. Yeah, that's a huge one. No, I don't want anything too big. Yeah, that's too big. I'm gonna try different ones. Okay, so another small cup, and I want to go with um, this time. I think I want to try. Oh right! Look at—they have dairy-free pineapple. Our, um, that sounds good too, but that's that's not custard and like the people purpose. Right. So did you get the again? Cookies and cream. I want to get a pineapple. I want the pineapple. Really? It's the regular pineapple. The, regular pineapple? Oh, the, small. the small. Sorry. Yeah. And then, uh, is there a is there a strawberry custard? I just use them for today. We change their flavors every day. Oh, okay. So it's just what's on there. I get yeah. it. I get it. See that? It's a, Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just today's flavors. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought it was all of them. Well, then you're going to have to go with, I guess, the Well, I'll try the, uh, maybe I'm going to try the uh, the pineapple Dole Whip. I'll try it. You're going to get that one. A really, a really small, small one. one. And yeah. can you throw, like, some whipped cream on it? So if you're I, getting that, then I should get another one. Do you, is, are those the same? Is, is mine? He's a pineapple. Yeah. Or, well, if he's going to get that, then I'll just get the vanilla. Oh, yeah. And then we'll switch it. Different, mix it up. Yeah. All right. Here, I'll hold that. Oh, thank you. All right. How much was that? Okay, so I know vanilla doesn't sound very exciting, it but I mean, I, I, when I think of custard, you got to you got to try the basic first. Jason's spending all of our money at the um, custard booth. Uh, you can't win though. You can't lose when you bet on custard. Um, I thought you can get any flavor, but you can only get those flavors. So you got to, yeah. So see at Instagram, you got to tag them. So every time it's always only what today's flavors are, right? Yes, we always have vanilla chocolate and the dolls. Right. you change your flavors every day? Every day. Yeah, we have a calendar Oh, there's a calendar. Great. Okay, thanks. Good voice. There's something wrong with me. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. It's um, what's today? Yes. Thirty first. Wednesday. Mid. The second. The second. All right. All right. I know. It's been a, all right. So I don't know what month it is anymore. Okay. So the mango is really good. Yeah, I had that. Was I had the cherry pie. Was good. All right. So here's what's happening the next couple days. Pineapple and cookie dough. That sounds like. Look at this. Strawberry and cheesecake Friday. That sounds like a day to be here. Oh wow. Well, so this is what we need. This right here. So this we need a paper. It's on the website, but they, they, okay. they don't explain it very well. Okay. They say flavors in the apple pie with the vanilla right. custard. I thought you can get any flavor, but you can only get the ones that are available today. But it's that's really interesting. Mango is ridiculous. I mean, uh, I thought it was great. It didn't taste like mango, but it was good. All of a sudden, it's getting real busy. When I, I think that's our influence. What happened? There's a line now, and I think that's oh. because everyone's watching at home. And they're getting down here. And by the way, if you are in Las Vegas, this is live. Come on down and join us. Wouldn't it be interesting to see who would actually show up. Here you guys go. Ah, oh, that's fast. Oh, okay. Got it, Jason. There you go. Thank you. 
sounds a little vanilla. Hey, what did you get? This is a pineapple doll whip. That's going to be great. Oh, what whipped cream on Wow. <laughs> Right now, Golden Robot understands why they send you know the big money. They're like, this is this is amazing. I mean, we didn't realize that you could only try a couple. Yeah, well, that's probably easier on my diabetes. The mango, of course, was a little tastier because it had more flavor to it. This almost tastes like sugar-free. Yeah, sure that. this tastes like uh, Willy Wonka. Yeah. I'm gonna eat on one side. So eat on your one side, so that we can. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll eat on this side. All right. Can I give the COVID? It is rough now. But there's people popping up. When we got here, there was no one here, and now it's the uh, talk of the town. Not the strip club across the street. I hope everyone's enjoying this. Let's see what everyone's saying. Can't believe that kind of I try. You know, they're doing it such a hell of a Okay. I'm going to turn that over to you. You eat what you want. I think you can like it. It's different. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's different. That's different. Oh, yeah. After eating this, that's like burnt lamb, right? Yeah. But this vanilla so custard is pretty good. good. This vanilla custard is good into a top. Look at this place now. <laughs> Got the dancer. Okay. I got a little brain. Oh, she's still like going crazy. Yeah. I mean, I hope that. You guys are hearing that. What is happening over there? I was trying to. You guys are just scared of yourself. Maybe. Maybe it's still new. Sometimes it's loud. The music. Well, this was pretty good. So far, I think the best one was the mango. There's something in the ice cream that's a little bite to it. I don't think you tried dry mine, but my mango one. We've heard a clock. You know what we really need to do? We should have done it. It's got all of them. Mm -hmm. And then brought our own board and scooped each into piles. And we tried it. Mm. Because there's only four. I mean, we only get a choice of what, four or five. If these people would, would, would Patreon more, I mean, we would buy a scoop for everybody. It was up at much right there. That was cheap. They're hungry. But they're just jumping now. It looks like a line to like. Uh, <laughs> Nowadays, I think everybody is so used to these kind of podcasts. You know, in the old days, you get yelled at, you know, sir, sir, please, you know. But now we're just like a reality song. This place is special, and uh, it's an interesting location. Maybe, Maybe there's something quaint about it. Maybe I haven't seen it. I think it's, uh, it's kind of something in Ireland. Yeah. People that you can see, that's serious. Now there's a lot. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, we're like, uh, we're like, uh, we're like guardian angels of uh, custom. Okay. I think that the people were sitting in the cars, they were, they were craving the custom. Mm -hmm. But they said, I don't want to get home because of the dancing shenanigans. Being around here, it's hard to believe uh, why that guy hung. Right? Oh, sorry. All right, well, that was good. There's people watching from all over the world. There's people watching from all over the world who, uh, you know, you may never get the chance to visit Lovey Custom. Or maybe you're going to come to Vegas. I love it. And you'll want to try Lovey. Love get it. it. Love it. No, but yeah, no. Maybe we should give that to them. I don't think you should feed them. Uh, <laughs> give you, you, if you encourage them. Yeah, I would give them. feed the uh, people. No, don't feed the... The locals. Oh, this, this, she's got a cone. That looks great. Okay. That looks good. Yeah, like a cone too. Good, right? Yeah, like the vanilla. That's supposed to be the mango. Vanilla. vanilla. That's what I had. The mango is great. Yeah, I can taste the mango. You've had it before? Yeah. It's really good. Uh, we're just uh, doing a little uh, podcast talking about the different flavors. We try to have as many as we could. I we thought that. Yeah. Come, Come back. back, yeah. yeah. It's really good. It's really, really uh, interesting. And we got a soft. 100 people. All over the world. Love it. Love it. Enjoy it. Well, I think it's a great place. Uh, I don't come down here a lot, but um, it has its charm. Because it would be wrecked if it even considered straight. Yeah, right? 1973. 1973. This, this is more exciting. exciting. If we would have pulled up when it looked like this, we would have been in the tap. I'm just surprised they haven't decided to put this on the street by now because that makes it be packed. Right? How many can't afford it? But whoever buys it could. You know, I mean, maybe, they, maybe they, 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 they sell, sell it. The grandson is not selling it. Yeah, that's good. Like the Sunset Trail they didn't love it. Or uh, the Sunset Pro. Right. They do have franchise opportunities there. Maybe we should get it for this. We should, we should get into the custard business. We get the, well, we get the, uh, uh, serious business. We get the, we get the golden, golden robot, robot uh, guy. If he's watching it, Mark Alexander Herbert. He, he might want to play. So, we're going to use a couple million dollars. Well, first of all, why, why, how do you think I have the money? Well, you know, Australia is very nice there. Like, we just, kangaroos. Right. Everyone's got money, right? Well, okay, what do you need the money for? Me and Jason are going to open up a custard store. Ah, that's it. He's like, uh, are you sure that you, that you really want to do this? Because this is something you just want to sleep on it? No, no we're convinced. Custard. Music yeah. business is nonsense. Custard. And we're like, you know, I don't, I don't think I want to do that anymore. <laughs> right. You owe me three million dollars. <laughs> then we got to leave town. That's a lot of, that's a lot of gigs. Man. I'm gonna throw. What about this. that place over there? Here. Which one? Are you activate? You're talking. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Oasis Motel is also <clears throat> um, the, uh, the 24 hour response. Um, the, uh, what do you think of, uh, that for a re for a rental? The place right here, 528? Yeah. <laughs> or like one of those. Do you think they're cheap? If we can get the car that this guy is driving right by right now. I mean, I'd almost be okay looking down here because of the you know, It's just that, it's just that, I don't know if you, if you want to know your neighbor, you know. No, but I don't want to know my neighbor anyway. But could be any worse than the fact I have smoked outside Yeah, you know, you got a point there, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I'm thinking yes. You got a market? Yeah, in a, in a, a liquor store all the time. You can get stuff quick. Um, and these nice guys who just sit and read under the tree, like right there. Yeah. Nice gentleman just reading a book under, under the tree. So what do you think? 
custard. Custard. Love, love a custard. custard. Thumbs up. It's great. It's fun. I thought it was great. And, uh, really good. Listen, if you didn't have an interesting experience, would it really be that fun? If you just came here and you had the custard and it was good, you'd go, it was good. It's like custard. But because there's an ambiance and uh, entertainment, I think it made it made for fun. And we took a trip of the strip. We showed everybody the strip. I think it makes it for a fun event. And it is really good. I think it'd be, I think you got to get a shake or a sundae. I think you gotta get crazy. I'm a yeah, diabetic. I can't have too instead much. Of just, instead of just instead of just the standard one, yeah, you gotta put some topics in it. So, um, sorry, I ate all your custard. Um, I don't think she would have liked it. She's like in a mood today. She's like, I don't care. I, summer's coming. I want to be in shape. Yeah. Well, I don't know. She destroyed that car. Now you're wearing a shirt that says drums on it. Yes. <laughs> my drum shirt. It's not all my I drummer. thought you would have had a guitar. No, sure. It's funnier. Drums are funnier. And, uh, yeah, I, yeah. Let's see what everybody's saying. It says new comments. Let's so, see. The stratosphere. Yeah, everyone hit the like button. It's, uh, and he doesn't live anywhere near here. Everyone's asking to put a student. There's Las Vegas Boulevard. Boulevard. That's all we had to do was turn, turn right on the. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, this is a good idea. And uh, it's right here. Show some of so we, we went past it, and then we went around. I think I should get a, a bus and show a. And, uh, I think I'm just now too. Maybe Johnny's showing you. I don't know if his audio's on too. I hope we're not talking over each other. But Johnny's okay. showing you around too. I'm looking at. Shake. Gotta get a shake next time. That's, That's what I think is the they way. Got to that go. awesome straw. It's cool looking. The shake looks good. I'll try a shake next time. Yeah, you can get all the flavors. You can get all the flavors with a shake. I don't know. Wow. I, I thought they only sold just for the customer. It's only for the cups they have. Okay. Okay, thanks. That clears that clears it up. Yeah, they didn't tell me that. Yeah, got a half and half drink. That sounds good. So next time, next time, get the drink. You can get whatever. The custard is only the daily ones. Okay. Yeah, we wanted to try different flavors. That's why we went with that because they're small. Because you can't get the drink in a small. But otherwise, that's what I would do. Cool bikes. All right, thanks, you guys. See. People are simple. Destroyed that call. You think if we showed them that we we were vaccinated, we could take a sip of theirs? No. You first. Make a sip of that. Well, but. Biden said, Biden said, Oops, years. Biden said, Biden said no more free tests. Oh, good for him. So maybe if we, if we, maybe if we do the free test, then she would let us have a taste. My, I, I got, got my test, test actually. Yeah. yeah. You get maybe four more now. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Wow. It's a little life set down. Travis Barker is having a good time with his talks. He's got a little cart uh, character yeah. behind him. Yeah. It's like a little mobile kind of. I can do that. I save a lot of money. Oh, here's the cops. I don't know. I don't think this is illegal. It's a document. And, and all, all the things, things that we've seen that actually are illegal. Just be filmed, filmed anyways. Well, it would be funny to get arrested on a fire. I uh, said bail. I, they're just checking out these guys. They, they see us and they're like, those guys are from out of town. And, they don't uh, realize that we could be like an undercover buddy, buddy cop. Team. Yeah. We're like, uh, yeah. Well, I do have a fake badge on me. Perfect. I always like to carry it when I'm in high crime areas. Uh, no, he's he's probably probably checking that guy out with the, with the pushing the cart around. If he uh, uh, should uh, kneel on his neck or something like that, like that and you film, film it, it he'll be rich. rich. He, he kneels on his neck, we're leaving. Because I'll whip you next. Yeah, right. 
I don't know. So, so what do you think? think? Should, Should we go, go somewhere? somewhere? Oh, oh, here comes back. Up. Something's going on. Could, Could there be a bus? <laughs> Maybe they're just meeting for customers. <laughs> or here, here comes. Uh, he's he's gonna restore order. This guy. Here's the third cop, by the way. <laughs> We're getting raided. Here it comes the third cop. Really? I don't know why they're looking over here. <laughs> they're they're probably looking up your old warrants. Oh, that's the guy from the Sin City Spinners. Three of them. They're sharks. That's crazy. And um, uh, they're they're not coming for us. Just they're coming for us. For other people. Oh, I hope so. Custard, just like everybody else. Hey, how you doing? You guys see anybody out here acting crazy? Yeah, everybody. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I know who you're talking about. Take he, a was, he was harmless, but I think he's, he's over there. Dancing guy. He's right there. Yeah. Look, you can see him right there. See him on the corner? Dancing Oh, yeah, yeah. that's the one. He's, 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 like, he's harmless. I mean, he didn't bug anybody. Okay, no worries. But yeah. he looks, obviously... You don't want him in front of the company. You might not want to sleep over in his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'll get him. I thought you were getting custard. Uh, not today. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy, right? They're not, in my mind, they're intimidating because I'm from the Midwest. These guys act up. Well, well, it's a custard stand. Is that why they call him? I think he's a benefit to the place. Well, it's like instead of getting the thing with the balloon, you know, the thing that goes like They have to pay the tax. Well, instead of getting the inflatable guy that goes like this, they just got their down for like, boom, oh, that's true. Oh, good, good yeah, yeah, but, yeah. They, but, but they, the custard's more expensive when he's out here. Oh, now he's pissed off. He's, he's, or he's flaying his arms. Well, what do you do with him, though? What do you tell him to go? Go home. It's like, I am home. Yeah, you should see my wife. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> Well, I don't know, but I mean, I was I was just calling like it is. See you later. The place destroyed that country. Uh, she was a little skeptical of us, I think. Yeah, she, she did. Sort of fun. Fun. She's talking about it. Yeah, she's like, uh, I hope those, t- I hope those police, police kneel on those yeah, assholes. Right. <laughs> she's like, I'm glad I called the cops. <laughs> totally. Yeah, at first I thought I was in trouble, but then I realized that I feel a little bit better about myself now. Actually, I feel worse because I want to be dangerous. Obviously, they're not here to arrest either of us. They're like, we're okay with you guys. You guys are boring. We're looking, have you seen someone like crazy around here? Yeah, throw a dart. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that was the, that that was was the, the best, best question. question. Have you seen anyone crazy around here? No, no, it's perfectly just fine. Like, just us chickens. <laughs> Nothing here but us chickens. <laughs> Besides yeah. us? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's perfectly fine. Normal. I mean, it's literally a. Uh, a lunatic every few feet. It's like it's like walking into a mental institution, and you're in the middle of it, and everyone's like, "Do you ever see anything crazy going on here?" No, not at all. Not one thing. I was definitely. If I danced like that every day, I'd be in traction, and I don't care what that four thousand dollar bed says. I would need to go to therapy to have my back worked on because he was pulling some moves. Well, he's probably, I mean, I think he't on something. I mean, can't he just be high excited about life in Custer? Maybe. Like we are. He wasn't panhandling like he didn't No, he wasn't bothering custard. anybody. No. Well, he bothered. He was, <laughs> he was I mean, someone might be scared. A little old lady they might be scared, scared to pull up. They, they didn't shut up this word yet. If you're coming down here for food, you, you're you used to that. Maybe. You know? It's not like, you know, a, a, a t- uh, family from Minnesota is here in line and they're like, you know, we're Stay close, kids. You know they—they they know what to expect when you come down here for custard. Mm, yeah, you're gonna see someone beat their wife. They're gonna be walking their pit bulls. They're gonna be smoking spliffs or whatever they call them, and their no shoes and mm. their elbows are dirty. And, you know they're dancing. I, I, I just belched a little bit of that uh, cherry pie. Oh, no, it was good. Maybe it was the pineapple. No, it was good. I enjoyed it a second time. Yeah. We're, not, come on, we're not talking about you. Yeah, I should say sensitive, I guess. I don't know what's going on over there, but I like the fact that he just abandons the car and walks over there. I should be able to do that. If I want to go somewhere and walk, I'll leave my car running and walk away from it for a while. You but, know, I, I'm trying not to, like, I'm trying to have fun with everyone in the comments, but the Ray, you've asked us to go to Stephen Piercy's house like 4,000 times. You're flooding the chat. We, 
Who cares? He doesn't live around here. I you promise. You at his house. Yeah, it's not near here. Plus, we can't go over there. Everyone has their own life. We show up. He's going to be like, what's going on, guys? You know, what are you doing here? And he's going to be like, well, Nick said. Was it Ray. Ray? Ray wants us to come over. Um, you know. All so right. He's well, in trouble. Ray. Fuck himself. Close the door. <laughs> yeah, they, he, he lives in a, a gated mansion. They don't, they, they, we, we would not be allowed. He'd fire Jason too immediately after that. Yeah. Stop yeah. bringing, bringing people, people over here. here. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Uh, I gave you that address in confidence. I'm showing you other places, but that one, uh, yeah, he's still going. Ray, don't be the first asshole to get deleted. <laughs> so I mean, they're excited. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're they're excited. They're not from here. They think you know, everyone knows each other. Like how we knew that cop. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You guys, see anything stranger out here? <laughs> Amazing. That, you can't write that. Yet. Where do we start? You got a minute? We want to put you in her movie. Normally, I would like to think that I could think of something fast, but I just yeah. it was a job. When he comes back, I'm going to continue. Um, I'm going to get some material. He's going to give you the knee. I hope so. He seemed nice to that guy. He seemed nice. Right. Look, to work down here, you got to be. Yeah, you know how to talk to me. Well, what the hell could you tell that guy? Uh, they're, they're watching him still. Like, you know what they're doing? They're waiting for the truck, the, the what do they call it, the 9 Paddy wagon, 505, whatever the numbers are, I mean, you're crazy. And they're gonna bring it down here, they're gonna, they're gonna hog time and put them in the back of the thing. If you're the, the, if you're the young lady working at the Custard, though, you got that guy dancing, customers are probably scared to come up because since we've been, been here, here, business is booming. You know. You mean since he left? Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Now I think people feel safer, and also we're here. But, but uh, here's the guns that should be working. This is what they call a, a, a fraternity hazing. You're going to make somebody uh, fill their pants with custard. <laughs> yeah, right. And then paddle them. <laughs> <laughs> that, whole, that whole thing is a little. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. They know what they're having. Yeah, well, obviously the custard is great. They're ready. <laughs> so. I just go by Juan Crucier's house. Well, that that we could do. That's probably that's probably close. I thought he lived in it's like California, Mexico. No, California. I've been there. They're trying for rat. This house. Oh, that's right. You it's did. In, it's in California. That's right. Yeah, it's on a hill, and you can see that. It's very nice. He had a boat in his driveway. <laughs> he did. Was it Bobby Blossom's boat? I think it might have been. It, it had like some drumstick uh, and, a, and a snare, like on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I think this is the best uh, last year ever. You're having a good time? I think it's the sugar's getting to your uh, yeah, maybe. Zero people ever. But uh, but I think we're, 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 listen, normally we're sitting at home. That's right. We'll have to do more of these on location ones if they like it. Yeah, if you guys like this, make sure you like I mean, until I move. And comment. Yeah, yeah Johnny, I'll be on bottom time. <laughs> Kind of hard to hold on to. I don't stay in one place for too long. Not by, not by choice. Do you got to like and comment and subscribe and tip? And, uh, oh, okay. I'm going to say, F2. He's yelling at them. I mean, those kind of guys are elusive because they seem unaware and they're dancing, they're getting all crazy. But then there's a moment of clarity and they're kind of like, you know, they're a CEO of a company or something. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like getting on the wild side a little bit today. They lose. Yeah, but like, cut loose. Guys, I'm out to Vegas and cut loose. Guys, I'm just trying to have a good time. Where are you staying at? I'm staying over at the, uh, oh, the, co the Cosmopolitan. Oh, right, yeah, the Palazzo. <laughs> and uh, I got like a late checkout, so I had some time to kill before I had to go to the airport. When, so, we, yeah. when we first got here, I thought, oh shit, this is about that no one comes here and there's all fake hype. But no, it's, been, it's busy, and it's also the middle of the day. Yeah. I have a feeling at 5 o'clock when people come home, but before they just. They get angry, if you drink, they come here and have a little custard. 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 I mean, it is good. I, I think a shake is the next. Yeah. But that's a lot. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a fine line between um, Clever and a criminal and a ticket worker. I'll be trying to sell tickets. It's something. Just the ice. Here you guys go. Oh, you guys, your Sundays are all big. There's, see, that's the size of the Sundays. Yeah, that's big. Those are looking pretty. Oh, it's like they're all having the same thing. Yeah.
but they're they're who's do that? They're digging right. They're digging. If you, if you, if you, if you, you know. Will they get that one? It'd be like going on a date. Did you guys get the western? I got the Scotch Jimmy. It's oh, right there. Scotch, sliced banana. That Scotch looks pretty good. Yes, good. Is it great? <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. That That's sounds a lot. better than less. <laughs> no, it's great. Well, next time we'll have to try something like that. Yeah, that's a sweet time. Like the bumbleberry. The bumbleberry. Bumble 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 Strawberry and raspberry and pecans. I can do it up with pecans. I can do it with pecans. Sometimes they're called cones. Yeah. yeah. I like pecans. From a nicer part of the town, too. Um, so what's happening? Maybe we have to back up. Citizens. You guys need some help? We're going to Police Academy, too. You got to move here, coach. Citizens on patrol. So, you guys need him? We got this whole large. Yeah. We're good. We're, we're amazing with the Guys, we're good. Just go back to your custard. What are you belittling me? Everybody likes custard. I know it's white, but I thought he was coming over here with this guy's car. Street, it's gotta be somebody watching this and uh, is in the area who wants to come by and have custom. Nobody in this area is watching us. No. They don't have it the internet hasn't been invented here yet. So they're standing in line for their uh, daily uh, fix of uh, custom. But they're capable of like, the box. I was thinking of fighting us. You would like this. Yeah, okay. uh, so if you're watching, I don't think he made it this far, but he would be good. Yeah. All right. He likes food. He likes I like likes donuts. Yeah, I went to Cracker Barrel with him yesterday. And, uh, I don't know. What do you have? <laughs> it was like a breakfast meal thing with the pancakes, he loves that. With, the, with the eggs, with the sausage. And the, I, I, just, so I want two eggs over easy, and I guess if I have to pick a thing that goes with it, I'll have that ham. She brings over two plates with hash browns and grits and gravy. Well, I didn't order all that. She goes, it comes with it. Oh. And then halfway over, she dropped a, one of the biscuits on the ground. And then she's like, oh, I dropped one of your biscuits. I'll go back and get you another one. Now and she not come back, but I need to eat the one other one that I had. The squeeze two biscuits, a bowl of gravy, a bowl of grits, two eggs, hash browns, and ham. I feel like, well, so, I'll, I'll just get ready for Easter. The Easter is like the Christian Super Bowl. Oh. And uh, uh, I, I don't know about this Cracker Barrel title. I think we've got a very racist. Yeah, it should be cocaine, cocaine barrel. I think I work on this. <laughs> I did feel lucky in there, like, oh, here comes the Cracker. And uh, they got those rocking chairs. That's not healthy. Well, Oz Fox, though, is not a, not, not a uh, Cracker No, but I am. And being in there. Although that might be, yeah. I felt, you know, I seen there was a Confederate flag. Did of, you guys rock? Um, we, yeah, we, we talked, talked a lot. A lot. And then, um, Back on my place. And, uh, I played some, some music and uh, stormed off. Something about uh, just didn't go as I planned. He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's great. He loves, but he, does, he really loves donuts. He loves pancakes. He loves breakfast food. And he loves uh, menudo, which I would not eat. Did you eat menudo? I've not seen menudo live. I, I did actually. My first concert was menudo. I was in school and they said you can get out of class if you want to go see menudo with, 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 with Ricky Martin. I went. A lot of hot tub. Uh, <coughs> I know they played it in the late 80s in the Nightmare Park. A lot of hot tub, but he was to go to that. Uh, uh, that's the kind of place where you can get menudo, I'm sure. Uh, but you know, it's like a tripe. It's, it's, like it's like intestines. Yeah. yeah. Oswald? Uh, no. Scotty Griffin likes to have it with them, too. They can go have tripe or something. I don't know what tripe. You guys got any questions? It's a tripe in the Simpsons. Look at the pig giving the peace sign. <laughs> oh, yeah. You actually. Yeah. It's like you meant the whole different thing. No, <laughs> no, the officer was nice to us. Yeah, yeah. He's derogatory yeah, term. Yeah, he's derogatory <laughs> term. Hey, give him the peace sign. I'm talking about the sign. Here's a good question. Best question I've seen. The guy's been watching two hours. Is that, is that Johnny Monaco? <laughs> uh, so well, I'll pack that soon. Someone came up to me the other day at a big cheap trip concert. It was very nice. It's from New York. And we talked, talked a little bit. Was he, was he a fan of your music? Yes. It was pretty nice. We talked, talked a little bit. And, uh, Ryan kept plugging my pieces in the old show. 
Well, Ryan is one of the owners, isn't he? That's right. And then they threw us off. Where's the guy looking for the crazy? Where's that cop who wanted to find the crazy? You stole over there. I think I got him. That's kind of a tall line here. He should be back over here. Mm -hmm. Carrot Top has a joke about being a Greyhound bus and you call it a crazy restaurant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, that's good. Well, yeah. That's cool. That's amazing. <laughs> the amazing part about it is, you're just tuning in. This gentleman is having the rest. Of his pants are. He needs a belt. But he 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 is enjoying the rest of my and Johnny. We both had it. No, no I, I finished it. mine. No, but we shared that one. So if he gets something, he will know who he got it from. He can't get anything from me except you know complaints. <laughs> I, uh, Harsh criticism. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like someone's mad. I um. You know, he's enjoying it. He has a mind. You know, if, if you can eat out of the garbage, why are we so concerned about this whole thing? I don't even know why they open a drive through. Yeah, just, just hit the drive through. It looks like an arrow. Yeah. Yeah, I care about it. The joke that he talks about being on the Greyhound bus and he calls it the, the 10 most wanted of them. And he goes, I found them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel around here. Right. I, um, I wonder if, is, do you think eating ice cream or yogurt or custard out of a can like that is easier? on the palate than like a hot dog. Because I feel a hot dog would be like, you know, there's condiments and the, the lips go on there more, the tongue has been inserted. Uh, the custard, you're, you're scooping, scooping it with a spoon. spoon. You got any thoughts, thoughts on, on the, the dissonance, dissonance album? I, it's, it's not, not one of my favorites, but I mean, I like all the albums. Uh, albums. But I know Donnie likes that one. He says that's one of his favorites. Um, I think he's being um, a criterion, you know, anti. But uh, maybe he finds something specific in there. I, I, I don't know. I really, I don't dislike it, but it's not one of my favorites. I like that someone's asking a serious question. Oh, that is serious. Um, While well, we're here at the uh, yeah. 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 This is our laugh of a kid, too. Yeah. I love custard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm broadcasting. Right. Can you hear me? King of comedy. Did, Did I get in on some of this? <laughs> Um, you guys did a, you guys did a real big Yeah, yeah, but uh, I, I'm okay with it. That, that, you know, now that we've been out here a lot, I will say I feel safer having uh, the police here. You know they're not in the car. Um, this, this guy's having a cigarette that he fished out of the garbage after my customer. He is having a good day. And now he's dance. A day. Yeah, yeah. 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 Free custard, a free cigarette. If he, if he, if he can, can get, get out of here, why am I having such a problem? You know what? Let's, let's have it. Yeah, that's, that's probably because he's not, he doesn't have a flight in New York, New York at 30 degrees. Uh, we both need us. I know what he's going through because I tried to fix my belt with glue. And it's just not the same. It's holding up the It's got to Straight up old school vanilla. Yeah, he's really big. Oh, and a shake. Oh, it's Sunday. Two. Good for you. Listen to this. All right, we need both of those. Yeah, that was good. He was the kind of guy who would shoot us. Oh. I could allow him to do that. Did you beat him down? No, he's over there still. Here he goes. I thought the guy took him out. I thought I had to ask him. Follow we're amateur, amateur uh, cops, cops producers. <laughs> Start, starting to show. He needs another one. Do you guys see anything weird over there? <laughs> yeah, another day at the office. I know, but you can't rank that material. You never want to see someone go to jail. I'm going to see you. Um, yeah. Go to jail. Basically, they're there. So I guess I'm still over there. This guy is looking at us. Maybe we need another weird one. Yeah. You got room? Yeah, just walks around like, you got one over here. You got room for one? Okay. That would be great. Keep on another one. we got to get a dog catcher from that. I know some people that they sit right down here. You would think that they'd be 
part of the problem, but they're really just some other dress. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can't see that. You know what I'm thinking? Jack Robbie would get arrested under. Yeah, no question. We're at home on jail. Wait a minute, I'm a man. Were you in Monty Crew? I was. Yeah. I think he's going to be on the show soon. Uh, we've got a book coming out. Yeah. We'll play the show uh, with Dan V in a couple of weeks in Chicago. Uh, maybe it'll be good. You've got to be optimistic. Hey, you look at the camera like Norman Fell. fell. You say something ridiculous? you got to... <laughs> Um, you know, but here's what here's my thoughts on this. Why don't they just make this damn thing what? Drive through? Maybe they can't. I don't know. Keep people in their cars. Uh, it's getting out, is it? I don't know. I think maybe it's set, set up for that, like the way the hangover it is. And the, you see how there's this whole thing here? I feel well, like sure they, they could do it. it. And it'd be good for the neighborhood, too, man. They probably don't want some crazy guy who's taking the place out. Like driving you. Oh, right. Yeah, you could drive right through it. But, uh, yeah, Banana Split sounds good too. Scotch Jimmy's a treat. Yeah. That was a Van Halen song, right? Scotch Jimmy? That's, no, that's that's close though. Um, what was the name of that song? Top Jimmy? Top Jimmy. That's right. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to Those guys. He's on YouTube right now. He goes, I'll be back in 10 minutes. And Russell, those guys up in the pad. There. What did you sing at Dino's the other night when you had karaoke? I sang California Love. Yeah, that's right. If it would fit the town. But it's kind of up, up your wheelhouse. Oh, yeah, right. Tupac? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. right in my wheelhouse. I, I wanted to do, do a cheap trip tune because we went and saw a cheap trip. That would be perfect. But my drunk friend Ryan signed me up for Tupac because I heard him kill it. And he gave me all these drinks, and I'm like, I don't feel good. Jay's pointing out that Chips Enough band is playing that Mexican restaurant right behind us. Yeah. Maybe a residency. <laughs> it is a residency. It's every Tuesday in February. Here's a good, here's a good question. You guys in Vegas? <laughs> For those who tuned in late, yeah, I get these, uh, I get Facebook uh, messengers. We might have a little echo, echo, echo. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe we'll call on the same mic. Turn mine on. Okay. You know, sometimes when I do these broadcasts, I think of a few things. I think, one, will this be entertaining to me? Two, will Golden Robot still pay the bills? And three, I, that's it. If the audience likes it, to thy note self be true. If the audience likes it, oh, well, it has an athletic fit. Um, I, I, uh, I think, you know, we've never done this on, uh, on location before, so we don't know what the audio is like, we don't know what the angle like, we're kind of just really going. Who knew we'd make it this far? far? I didn't know, I didn't think we'd make it this far. We some little help mics. Mm-hmm. Well, that's big too. It's not a pie you can come right. I could, I could run around the building a couple of times, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick your ass as soon as I can speak. The, uh, you, but they got video poker here too, so this, this is essentially a casino. <laughs> um, so where, where do you think we should do? Should we, where should we go? Should we head back? Or what, what, what do you think they were? Were they in college or in military? The, 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 the police? No, not the, no, they're police. Oh. The ice cream police. I want to say Scientologists. But then they would probably hit us up. You boys, like, you want to talk about our Lord and Savior, Scotch Jimmy? Yeah, I think they look at us and they're like, those guys, I'm they need someone else to say that. Call Billy Sheehan. They're like, not that, you know, someone stronger than what we got. Yeah, yeah. Call Mr. Big. I don't know. Yeah, it's, 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 we're not, you know. Did you go see what the neighborhood looked like? Did you uh, show that? I walked out to the curb. Because I'm up. And, you know, it was uneventful, except... Um, yeah, now, when it's 110 degrees out right now on this... On this Asphalt, mm-hmm. not good. I wouldn't be able to hang. That bird could hang. It would be, it would be too hot. Tomorrow's custard might be You pitched. look that way and I'll look this way. Okay. You get the stratosphere. That's nice. I got the local view. Hey, look at that. The mayor of Las Vegas uh, presents Lovett Custard. Open since 1973. There's a proclamation. Oh, this is a landmark. That's why they're not getting rid of it. I forgot. Mayor of Las Vegas, we're talking about Paul Shortino. 
Oh, he's the doctor of Wilson. Oh, well, maybe Fulcher too is an honorary mayor. Uh, how are you? Yes. Anonymous. Awesome. He's anonymous. Yes, you can play in New York, New York. He's got the shirt, I can tell, anonymous. He's working on the Ukrainian thing. Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, this is kind of boring. I, uh... We're, I think we're maintaining the peace. Johnny, do people know your license plate or do you keep that secret? It's my name. What are they going to do? I don't know. Look at it if they want. Johnny Monaco has a vanity plate and he's not a very vain guy. It's, he, yeah, right. It's true. He, it's an Illinois plate, too. You're lucky they didn't run it. They can run it. I got my tag. They don't care out here as long as you have your sticker. Yep. I don't think this Mexican joint is open. Oh, look at this place. Jesus, Jesus, Johnny. Like look at the outdoor dining. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know about this place. Yeah. There's the art district over there. Seafood and tacos, and it's kind of busy. It looks pretty good. Yeah, people seem to like this. I've been there. You've been there? No, is it cool? I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's a bunch of bullshit, but. I'm a little spoiled now. I'm worried about returning a temper again. That right there. It's like the insulation in my walls, man. Built my studio, so I feel you, bad. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a bob wire though. Let's keep the riffraff out. Beautiful view though. There used to be a, a porno hall of fame down here, and they would have like blocks of cement that the porno stars would stick their boobs in and stuff. And it was right next to the uh, porn stars. For those watching who like that, porn stars, we're very close to that. Oh, we are. Yeah, it's like a block over. And then there's City Hall. Well, I think this has been a good. I mean, I think we get back in the in the in the, the Monaco mobile, and uh, yeah. everyone having a good, good old fashioned custard uh, day. Ninety-two people uh, tuning in live right now, which I think is fantastic. Now maybe I can catch up on some of these questions because I know that these are hard. I, I leave it up because of the sound, but it's getting warm. Twelve pack says uh, you guys are all you guys are all effing time. Thank you for lifting my spirit. That's a good compliment, and thank you for tuning in. Yeah, glad we could do that. If this will work. You two do a road trip back to Illinois for when Monaco has to get his car inspected. <laughs> sure. hey, that could happen. I don't have to drive all the way back in this. How about when I have to go to the dentist or something? Okay. Johnny, unmute your microphone. So, well, but now you can hear him on mine. That was only when he was walking away. Oh, okay. The narrow just had his custard. He is full of custard. These people are full of custard. All right. This is it's jumping. I mean, I, I, how, what time did we get here? It's right back into somebody and run them over, and I, we get to go to jail. <laughs> That's the end of the show. <laughs> no, no second season. Wah, wah. Waste some time with Phil Lewis. Uh, uh, <laughs> replaces us. You know. Remember when he ran over that guy with the custard? All right. Hello, darlings. Today I'll be trying on a new Humpty Dumpty suit. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna go. Uh oh, these guys. Are, I'm tired of people giving me side eye. You know. Well, I mean, look where we I'm are. A, yeah, I don't care. I'm in a vehicle. This is I'm running the show. Okay, if I want to, I'll take you out. Hmm. Why are they all wearing such heavy stuff? That is a good point because they're probably hiding, hiding their firearms and drugs. 
Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it is. It's got to be about 80 degrees, right? Now. It's not even hot here in Las Vegas yet, but it's, you know, it's, this was a great filthy strip club. It's too. That, that, that's got to suck. You know how you can't go out this way. Uh, Ooh, he's just laying down. Yeah, but still. Look at that sign. No gum chew. You're going to. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> I, like that's you're the, gonna lay down right there. No, I'm near, near, near you. Ain't laying I down. sometimes wonder, like, I mean, what do you got to do all day if you don't totally lay down? Well, what makes you go, you know what, this is the spot? This I don't care so much about that. It's just like, you know, in the course of a day, when is it time to lay down at 2 30? I mean, he's pretty tired. You don't do that? Yeah. I like that. I have to learn too many songs. That's true. You have like 500 songs, there. and I still don't know them. Yeah. Some of them are a little ridiculous. <laughs> to learn. Hey, let's play Hold the Line, go. Yeah. Oh, there's the song's a little involved. Yeah. When, so, meanwhile, no one, you know, there's probably some pop song with three chords that people like better. Yeah. That's just really like the, the involved stuff. I just, as a guitar player, it's just a tricky. Yeah. Um, okay, now let me see what's going on here. Let me, uh, are we going to take Las Vegas Boulevard? What do you want? Is that, that's right there, right? That's Las Vegas Boulevard. Yeah. yeah. So, if you like that, we could do I kind of want to go down this street. You can do that. That's a short one. I mean, it looks like a little kind of sketchy little street. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Now that we know the cops. The Haunted Mansion is on the other street. Look at these guys. The Haunted Mansion is... The Haunted Mansion is run by that guy, Zach Bagans. You know him? He's the ghost hunter. Oh. Oh, so, right. Yeah, so, I know him. So he's got a bunch of, like, oh, yeah. artifacts. Okay. I watched that show. I love that show. You might like the thing. And they... They put you in really all like they put you in a basement where like allegedly these, these rituals I've seen happen. It. You know, now that you say it, I have seen that. And they got this thing called the Divic Box. When I did it, certain people did not want to see certain things. And they tell you that a lot of people go home cursed and all these kind of things. It's a chiropractor. That's where I would come to see a chiropractor. I wanted, I wanted to go down this other street. I'm gonna turn around. What is holding? Keep quiet. That's what you need on your hands, right? That yard. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's everyone. That's, that's what a, I need that sign. That's a communal yard. Um, the chiropractic center. I, this street is just calling to me, and I want to go down because it's just like a Yeah. So that haunted house is pretty funny too. That's just one over. Well, so we're downtown, far down, right? We're, we're pretty far down, playing. Yeah. I mean, we're not in the in the art district anymore. No, we're before. Actually, this is before the art district. Yeah. This school, look at these houses. Maybe we should. Um, this looks like some. All these people here are up to something. You know, uh, if you go down further, you get the neat free lunch for that this experience, and then you get the neon museum. You look at the neon. That's where they have all the old statues. Only all the old oh, yeah. signs. Yeah. And they filmed the scene for Vegas Vacation. Yeah. I mean, it's it's weird because you're right there by all the stuff, but yet all the money that's there, and then, and then you're here, you know? Mm -hmm. It's so, like, separate. Um, so, should we go that way, you think, or should we go this way? We can't go that way. I would go this way, take a right, or we just went to the strip. Yeah. Everybody's enjoying this. A little bit different today, out of the studio, on location. Oh shit, that song's copy I'm sure. I'm sure YouTube. Yeah. I'm sure YouTube's like, oh that's a little duck. Blah blah blah. And they're always like rocking their head back and forth like it's such a great song. Oh, this must be the chorus. Yeah, I can't with that. Now's your time to ask questions, folks. There's over a hundred of you in here. All right. I'm now, roll my window up too. Now we can now we can concentrate on whatever you guys not with that shit. want to talk about. Jeez. Just the low end is enough, you know. You get that always got that look on their face like they're like, you know, like you hearing this? I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. And I look at them and I roll the window up. I stare right in their eyes as the window goes up. Mm. Okay, so that's where this the, the hotel is for the strat. Right, that's the act. That right, not up the top. Yeah, and the the room that I saw cheap trick is in there. Go, go. What are you looking at? Sunset Glam is saying unemployment makes you watch some strange things sometimes. All right, let's go. 
$99 ounces. Did you ever think the day would come when you saw signs for $99 ounces? Ounce of what? Yeah. I never thought I would see that. Here's a cool view over here. This is a newer sign. The city of Las Vegas thanks you. I'm not really sure what they thank you for. Maybe the customer. Marauder Motel, that's nice. This is where, here's the allure. Right. We know who lives in the allure. Yeah, my guy. Yeah. So here's the liquor store. He has a vanity plate also, we got laying down. Um, World's largest gift store. Yeah. No, this place is called, um, why can't I think of it? There's a tower and then there's a another part to it. Um, not set my time. I was thinking of, of staying there though because I heard it was really nice. Eddie Trunk has a free for all segment where people call in. Are you saying that we should call him? I, don't, I mean, I got I got his home phone number. <laughs> when we got to call his TV radio show? For? Probably the same number. Um, and then the other building, the other condo right there next to the Hilton, mm -hmm. that's called Sky. And I didn't like Sky because the balconies are encased in cement. So it's like when you're standing out there, you have side, like a side cement, side, top, bottom. It's like a picture window. Mm -hmm. And all the windows are tinted with a weird green blue. So it's always green blue in there. Mm -hmm. It's got a weird vibe. I don't know if I like that. But that's why I like this one better, the Allure, because they have normal windows, glass, you can see the balconies. But you can see the weird balconies. And then that one, that I can't remember the name of, is really nice. Oh, Turnbury Towers. Turnbury Towers. That's that's right. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Richard Dreyfus. That was Richard Dreyfus. So, so, yeah. That, that was the, saying my wind is... Uh, the wind okay. Is, right. Well, it's pretty hot here. It is very hot. I left a crack. And then... And then there's the sky. That was the wet and wild right there. That was a, that was a water park. It was fun. Really? Yeah, chicks would go down the slide, their tops would fall off. Took everything, rebuilding everything. Yeah. But see, this one's close to the strip because you're actually on it. It's a little closer than where I'm at. Turnberry is off the path a little bit, but it's still there. But see the color of the windows? See how they're like oh, yeah. tinted? And see the balconies, how they're encased in cement? Not the corner ones, but the regular ones. Yeah, you don't like that. Maybe, maybe that's safe. Your balcony's a little scary. It's big. I never go on it because the guy's smoking cigarettes out there. Okay, so... That used to be a bungee jumping thing. It still says bungee jumping. I, me and Puck from the real world, we went there. There's not happening anymore? And I filmed him. I don't think it happened in like 20 years. And I used to film him for the, I filmed him for the real world. I thought they did that where you can hear the people screaming and they fall off the... the now I think that's just murder. Um, probably too many lawsuits, right? Probably. I mean, maybe they did. I don't know. I think it's done. What's the that's, building here? Is there something there? Good question. I don't know. They're not doing anything right now. Usually everybody's so excited, but they're not used to us being on this early. You guys need a couple of rocker groupies chilling in the back seat. Hello. Uh, um, yeah, I, maybe uh, maybe you're not paying attention to the video. But Vegas is a beautiful city. Well, if you got that from the customer. <laughs> yeah. well, um, it was an interesting uh, experience there with the customer people. The girl was nice. Now, I wasn't wondering why Eddie Trunk was talking to people. That's, that was what I was saying. I'm saying that he had some local schmokel band on. He just stroll up to his house. They didn't call on the phone. And I said it must be a slow news day. I think going for custard is way more exciting. Look at Elvis Presley Boulevard. Yeah. What's down there? The entrance. That's the convention center. But it used to be the Riviera. Yeah, Riviera was right in front of it. This right. whole lot was Riviera. I love the Riviera. 
first hotel I ever stayed at when I came to Las Vegas. And that Ghost Hunters guy did an episode there. Showgirls was from there also. Well, they, they tore it down halfway. Before they demolished it, he went in and with his team, they tried to find spirits and ghosts. They find them? I think so. They always find something. It's kind of sure. like the Curse of Oak Island. Like, you're always thinking they're going to find something and they never do. But you still watch it anyways because you want to believe. I mean, that's, at least that's how I look at it. Let's put a Ross on the boulevard. Vegas indoor skydiving. We should do that. Would you do that? I don't know, man. It looks a little dangerous, but I would do it. You do it. I mean, Let's go over things that we could do. One, we could do the indoor skydiving. They, they put you in a tank it blows up and down the big fan they put you in a, they give you a helmet did you try that i mean i, I don't know i guess i'd do it if you do i want to do the there's a place right outside of the city limits, about 30 minutes away from here where you can drive a car on a racetrack oh yeah yeah i know what that is yeah. i can't do that i don't have a license oh, that's right what about uh, would you freeze yourself would you go into one of those tanks where you it's uh, freezing cold uh, stay in for like a minute I don't know, what, is it, what does it do? Does it do clear your skin up? Well, yeah, it's clear and like rejuvenate you, like, shit like that. I mean, I don't know, that sounds like torture. I mean, it might be, but I would do it if you do it. Maybe. They never drive on the boulevard. Jimmy Page is here, that's nice. Because of this. Jimmy Page, he, he likes custard, obviously. Uh, uh, do either of you have the strange urge to play Killer of Giants on guitar after eating that custard? Killer of Giants. Oh. That's all right. it's... Why, why, why? A lot of people think we should get matching tattoos. You got any tattoos? I do not have tattoos. I do not either. So that, that sums that up. I think we're the last people on the earth. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't uh, my idea. No, no, it wasn't. There's Trump Tower. There it is. We're all by itself. Exile. Trump Tower. Gonna be all alone. By itself. Gold. Gold is gold. Quebec. Quebec. We'll put a big T on the top top. And we're gonna put it. Oh, we're by the beach club because I like the beach. And uh, we get the fashion show. It's gonna be beautiful. We got a, a Maggiano's. It could, it's gonna be beautiful. Is that the fashion show mall that I went to? Yeah. Did you go there? I like that mall. I did, I did not like it. It's busy though. It's crazy. It's, I thought they were so cool. It's yeah, a little bit. It's fashion. I didn't see a lot of fashion. I saw a lot of socks hanging out. Yeah. yeah. And those socks. People walking around picking their nose. So I guess that's in now. Um, yeah. Is that the wind? That is the wind. The wind is very nice. Uh, that's an older one, right? The wind? No, I don't think the wind's that old. Huh? Oh. Steve Wynn, right? Yeah, but I think the Wynn Hotel, you know, it could be like 10 years old. Okay. Palazzo also. What's the old. newest one? Cosmo? Uh, no, even Cosmo's not the newest. The, the shit that we went right back there, the, the resorts world. The one right back there. The star of the home of Katy Perry. I've heard about resorts world. Uh, is that new, huh? Yeah. Looks like they already have Hard Rock Hotel like billboards coming. Like they, they don't let the body get cold. So they're moving, or well, they're they're moving it over here. They're gonna yeah, open a new Hard Rock Hotel. Look at the Prince experience. No. He doesn't even look like Prince. No. He doesn't look like royalty. <sighs> Exhausting. Well, it's hot as fuck. I, I, now I'm gonna take a nap. I don't know about you. Like that guy. So, Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's take one right there. <laughs> the pushes. Um, yeah, well, I just... Uh, Dolly Parton. I don't know what I do today. Do you, play some guitar. The audience is a little... Like, uh, not that excited. What was the custard? Like, oh, there's Chris! You know, Chris, Chris, where you been? You you should have been here crying about Phil Lewis all this time. Um, the custard was good. You got to go back and, and watch the whole thing. Two, go back two hours. It was good. I'm going to have a diabetic home room, but I'm going to revive him. Yeah. And uh, that'd be good television. Seagull Rock Squawk. Glad that you're not in Ukraine. I guess so. You're glad you're not in Ukraine, aren't you? I mean, you know, yeah, 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 of course. Garrus, I think that says Garrus. Garrus is saying it's time for more custard. I don't think I can do it again. Really I could actually go there. Again. Warren D. Martini did. Strip burger. What's that? It's a topless burger joint. Is it? 
It's um, not very... Uh, K-Bear, you just go back. You watch this when it's over. You know, next time we can do this where people say we should eat again. Next time we'll go have lunch and you can come and do that too. Let's see what else we can get thrown out. The custard people were very welcome. Here we can go to the Hunger Games exhibition. I wish it was like the Hunger Games. Mm-hmm. It didn't hurt. That's right part, yeah, the Venetian to see sticks. And this is the actual way to come, Spring Mountain. What did I do wrong last time? Because Spring Mountain comes right here. Oh, yeah. That's the way to go. I got off, I went too far that way. Now this is the way that you would take uh, to get to your home. Yeah. I was in Custard Town. You know? To your palatial estate. Party. You flipped Dolly Parton? No. No, I mean, not did you, would you? Oh. I, I, I might. If you're watching at home, would, would you uh, uh, bang Dolly Parton? What do you think she's like 75? Uh, probably. I bang Priscilla Bronson. An, an old wise man once called me, Ron Jeremy. He said that he would bang Elizabeth Taylor like when she had two fake hips and was like almost dead. And he said, I closed my eyes and she'd be Cleopatra all over again. And I thought, that's really a nice way. And she would close her eyes and think she was surrounded by chunks of cheese. I once asked him, how do you have sex with 400 pound women and, and unattractive people? And he said, the secret is you find one thing that's attractive. Everyone has it, he says. Focus on that. Sometimes you look in their eyes, or maybe it's a hand. That's what he said. Is you find the one thing or a boob, but there's something that's got to be nice. And that's all you think about. He's disturbing. Really something. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Sunset Glam, you're on your way to Australia. Maybe we get you a... Pull the robot shirt. We can try to find one. Johnny is muffled holding a phone. Oh, he's mortified holding a phone pointed at him while driving. I don't think he's that mortified. He's mortified. Um, I, I went and saw that show, that uh, love show. Yeah, that's good. That's going to be gone soon. There's the old volcano. There's the mirage. Yeah, it's good. I might want to see it one more time before they get it. Yeah. Hey, the water show's going. You see that? I don't know if we're going to make it in time, but you guys look ahead. Uh, you, you, I think it just ended. Maybe, maybe stall. I'm trying. This guy's right on my, right on my bumper. You guys he speeds down the boulevard right on your yeah, bumper. Yeah, this is supposed like, to be a cruise, not. Yeah, a, it's supposed to be somewhere that you want to look around. This isn't a place to just like you know. Like, I was gonna go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. But you wash your car. Alright. Be right on that guy's ass. Right behind a Corvette. I'm so done with those people. Um there's the Ara, which is nice. Mm -hmm. The Aria. Yeah. Aria. You guys are gonna say that wrong? And Bally's. Yeah. Bellagio's cool. Give me a little trivia about Bally's. If you're a fan of the movie Rocky IV, which is very timely right now, you know, with the Russian crisis, Dolph Lundgren's character, spoiler alert, kills Apollo Creed in Bally's. Uh, and James Brown performs Living in America. That was filmed in the Jubilee Theater inside Bally's. How does he die in that? I forgot. He dies in the ring. Spoiler alert. Shit. It's okay. Is oh this God. is this uh park? No. no, that's the Bellagio, and then in front of us is right. the Cosmo, my favorite. That's where I did my birthday uh, broadcast. Look at Chris Angel. I'm levitating. <laughs> <laughs> he lost me after the building to building levitation. 
Someone's asking if there was a bust of uh, Christy Canyon. Uh, there was. There was a, at the Showgirls. It's gone now. Gordon Ramsay's place. A lot of, you know, uh, go to Juan Crusier's house. Like, what, like, what makes you think Juan Crusier is a house? in California. Right. Hmm. Some okay stuff. Usher. That's going to be a concert. Not yeah, that's me. an event. People will go crazy for that. Hey, what, what, you sell tickets to that? Probably. I imagine what it's going to be like down here. Oh, my Lord. Oh, here's some music. Yeah, I hope it's a little copyrighted. I don't know. It probably is. It sounds country. Mine's muted. My mic's muted. Oh. Like this. oh, look at that. That's Michael Jackson, but... Uh, Dancing water. Could we get tagged on flags on Michael Jackson? Probably. Uh, yeah. You can watch through the window without the music. That's not like the melody of the song or whatever, so I think we can get away with a little bit. Yeah, but even that loop, that little bit, is probably. Yeah. Jewel. All right. Long light, but you it's get your nice time. They should get a custard stand right in front of the fountain. Can you imagine? Anywhere on here. Oh, my God. Yeah. You would, you would never get a chance to watch the homeless dance. You couldn't park easily. It'd be a nightmare. You couldn't go. Wow. Can you imagine having to come down here and park and do all this? I hope everyone watching is enjoying this. You know? No. Uh, you hear they get the pizza in here. Where? In the Cosmo. It's called Secret Pizza. It's a secret. It's a New York pizza place. I would say we go right now, but I don't think we can get over I didn't but, know that. But you would like it. It's hidden. It's no signs, no nothing. It's got to know where it is. What? We should, yeah, we should do that. That'd be a good video. See the pizza. I'll do that. Park MGM. I've played there. Beautiful day out here in Las Vegas. I hope everyone's appreciating all this entertainment that we're bringing you. New York. Anything you guys want to see next time, we'll uh, we're happy to come back and. Yeah. Park. Well, thank you, Tim. Tim says, "Holy shit, this is great." Park. So, I'm glad you're joining, it, Tim. It's a good street. That park Nobody street. else is doing this. I promise you. Left. Yes, I am trying. Yeah. We're so, almost getting ready to wrap up, so I'm going to get to any last second. Uh, 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 plugs. If you enjoy this, it, we could do it again. I think it was fun. Did you have fun, John? Yeah. Uh, it was fun. It was something different. I don't... And amazingly enough, that was due to the miracle of the internet, uh, our connections have not gone, gone out. And we were able to bring you two perspectives uh, at the same time. And we got to show you uh, Custard, Charlotte, who came along. She's very quiet. Very quite shy, right? Yeah, she's... Let me get two. She's up late. I get it. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. Yeah. But uh, I hope I, do, I hope I don't go into a diabetic coma and die. I'm a little tired myself. Is it? Is it I think you're tired from the custard. Is that what did it, or is it just just getting up early? And... Well, I mean, just getting up is one thing. Yeah, just getting up every day is a struggle. But uh, but then add custard on top of it, and I think the one we had had tryptophan in it. Yeah, I did feel a little tired myself. Tryptophan. Uh, it's a little hot. Maybe. Yeah, everyone, Chris is right. I, could use, I, I should probably ventilate just a little bit. I was trying to get rid of the Michael Jackson. This is the future home of the Oakland Athletics, they say. Enjoy it. Tropicana is a legendary spot. It's going to be sad to see it turn into a baseball stadium. Traffic will never be the same. Oh, no. We're right now. That day, this whole thing, you know, that's, that's supposed to be the future home of the Oakland. Why would they put it right here? It's totally stupid. I think a good spot would be like way out by the M, like where the training camp is. Yeah, that's good. Or by the Custom. But why in the middle of the strip? Because that's where the hotels and are. And there's no parking as it is. Look at their prints on the back of that van. Looks like Johnny Depp. You probably know that guy. He plays around town. He plays in those shows. Uh, Garris is saying LA Gun Sex Action sounds similar to that one rat song. Yes, it does. Because it's the same song. Uh, it's called You Got It. 
David Copperfield. And Jim Morrison family. got arrested in Las Vegas. I'm going to show you that on a future video. I have the location where that took place, and we're going to do that. Thank you, Guitar Page. Another home run. This idiot appreciates you, too. Well, this idiot appreciates you as well. I got low battery, finally. That's okay, though. I got 20%, and that's all I need. All I need is this phone and 20%, and that's all I need. Oh, and this. And these glasses. And all I need, that's the joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need. Top golf. I'd like to try. That's something we should do. Go golf. <laughs> Probably stupid, but I mean, could be any stupider than battling homeless people for a husband. Have you seen anything weird around here? <laughs> Incredible. You can't write shit like that. Howard Johnson's. Yeah, that's an old spot. So far. Yeah. That's a good soft strip behind the strip. One behind. Hold that part, and you can hit that, and then come this way to cut that whole corner off. See this thunder from down under, show? Yeah, That's I know the, that guy. Yeah, I, I went to see it once. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I went to see a comedian named Louie Anderson. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. after Louie Anderson's show, we turned into the thunder from down under, which is a male review. It is. And That's Louis great. Anderson asked me and Ron Jeremy if we'd like to stay and watch the male review. I believe Louie Anderson might have been, you know, I, I think. So anyway, yeah. we uh, we stayed. And, we, and well, my friend goes, there's no way I'm going to watch these men dancing around. And I said to Ron, we will be the only men in this building, uh, except for the guys on stage. And then once these old horny broads see us, we're set. And we stayed and watched the show. It was funny. And we heckled and we said, show us your balls. You know, we, we, we acted like classy women. They never do show their balls in that show. And then they looked at you guys and they're like, wow, it's, it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> Absolutely. I uh, I know the, uh, one of the producers of that show. This is my building. Australian. Mm, of course. He's going to give me a gig trying out for the Australian Bee Gees, but I just wasn't sure I could sing that high for that long. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, a lot that would be the way to the airport. Anyway, I think that's. I think we gave people a great show. So make, yeah, yeah, make sure you like, you comment, subscribe. Visit johnnymonaco.com. It's uh, linked in the description. Visit his social medias, and then also uh, social media, and then also, uh, and if you have a band or a song, enter my contest uh, with Golden Robot Records, of course, to really their event singles competition. And, uh, and tune in. Uh, I, I, I will tease this Saturday, live on the channel, Stephen Piercy will be here to make a major announcement. He will be delivering the State of the Rat uh, address. The State of the Rat Union. Somebody had too much pester. Uh, I'm sure they'll handle that. Anyway, State of the Rat Union. This Saturday with Stephen Piercy live. We'll take your questions. And uh, I believe there's going to be a bit of a, uh, uh, a bit of a major stir up in that camp. So I want you guys yes. to Yes! Yeah, it's big news. Big news. And uh, and anyway, that, that's that. So uh, I'm glad that everyone stayed with us. You just thought it was going to be a little custard. Instead, you saw uh, uh, who knows how much. So, all right. Uh, 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 thank you, everyone.